Hey everybody, testing out the audio. How do I sound? Um, I'm running a little bit slower today, so I uh, will be on in just a second. I just need to get all the yarn and stuff. But if you want to vote for which Pokemon you want me to crochet today, uh, I put a link in the description and also at the top of this chat. But the dis I think I put a link in the description. You know what? I'm going to hey fix that. Oh. Audio sounds all right, I think, to me. But let me know how the audio sounds, and uh, it looks like Bulbasaur is gonna win, but you ha you can vote if you'd like to. You can try to change the future. But I'll be on in just a sec. Phoebe wanted to join, but I was like, I'm sorry, Phoebe, you can't. Okay, I think we're just about ready to rock and roll. Hello, everybody in the chat, by the way. Let me grab some pins to show off, and then I will, if I can find where I put them. I did, I finded them. I find it them. Okie dokie artichokies. I find it some of them. Hello everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Today Oh, <laughs> today. Happy Pokemon Day, everybody. Uh, I don't know if you knew that. If you're in this live stream... Oh, wait. We got a little gap on the... We can't see the outside. No, there's no such thing as outside here. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know if you knew it, but today is Pokemon Day. So, happy Pokemon Day. They, uh, It's just a day. It's just another day. But it's a Pokemon Day. And we got some Pokemon patterns to make. So today we're going to be crocheting a Pokemon, and we're going to see what Pokemon won. I'm pretty sure it was Bulbasaur. 
I did a vote, and everybody was allowed to vote on either Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur, the three patterns that I have on the website. I also have Eevee, Ghastly, and I think that's it so far on the website. I haven't done too many Pokemon because I didn't want to get in trouble with Nintendo, so I, I haven't crocheted too many Pokemon on the website, but that's okay. Tina, thank you so much. I will talk about that in just a second. So, okay. So let's talk about what we're doing today, uh, what you need, and then how to uh, support the channel and stuff like that, and then just get rocking and, and rolling. Also, I think we're going to do like a mini pattern today, too. Um, just a little tutorial while I'm at it because I made something new and I think you guys are going to like it. It's a quick one and it works with Pokemon and everything. Okay, so first off, uh, what you're going to need for this video. So I'm making Bulbasaur. You can make Charmander or Squirtle. I made all the patterns free just today. So it's today only free. You can find them at clubcrochet.com slash Pokemon. I put a link right there. Right there, clubcrochet.com slash Pokemon. That's where you can find the pattern. I'm making Bulbasaur. That is what won by a vast margin, which is great because Bulbasaur is my favorite starter Pokemon. So I'm actually really excited. I didn't want to say that to anybody because they didn't want to change the vote. But that is the that is a fact. Um, you for If you're going to make Bulbasaur, you're going to need three different shades of green. You'll need one that's kind of like a lime green. It's not really a lime green, but like a, I don't know, like a plant green. And then more of a turquoise green for the body. And then you're going to need a dark green. That's going to be for the spots. And then you'll need some eyes. I'm going to be using 6 millimeter eye safety, be uh, safety bead eyes today. I'm going to be using a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook for this pattern. Um, that's what I usually like to use, especially when I'm using cotton yarn, uh, cotton worsted weight yarn. I really like a size G hook. And uh, you'll need a pair of scissors, of course, a darning needle, and some stuffing. Um... Yeah, and that's what you're going to need for this pattern. Again, the patterns are free today only right here. Clubcrochet.com slash Pokemon. So you can find it right there. If you want to help support this channel, there are a few ways to do so. And I will talk about this frog in just a second. I see some people asking about that. Um, the frog is eating a fly. Um, so if you want to help support this channel, there are a few ways to do so. The first easiest easiest the freest way ever is just like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed um if this video gets over 400 likes we upped it because last last week we did 350 likes and you guys blew that out of the water and the week before that you blew it out of the water also so this time we're going up to 400 likes if this gets 400 likes we're going to do another giveaway because we also are doing a giveaway today so that's the free cheap way to, to do it. And I'll talk about the giveaway in just a second also. Um, if you want to help support monetarily, you can do so a few different ways. The best way to support monetarily is with the Club Crochet memberships. Uh, members get early access to future patterns. They get access to exclusive patterns in the library. Normally, they'd get all these Pokemon patterns as one of the perks for being a member. Um, as Because you get access to the full library of patterns, and that's one of them. Um, so if you want to uh, get a bunch of cool patterns and help support this channel you can do that by just become a club crochet member you can even try a free trial if you want and see if it's something that you're interested in um, because besides supporting this you also get a bunch of other perks uh, one of the other perks is you get monthly kits mailed to your door each month with all the materials that we're making or all the materials that you need to make whatever new pattern we're adding to the library and this month we are adding a reversible frog and I actually just finished the video for it yesterday so it's coming out tomorrow um, uh, and you can see here that we got this reversible frog it's got a little tongue that you can actually pull in so we can eat the fly and then you can flip it inside out and it becomes an angry frog and with also a fly on a and then you can pull that in I have a few different ones that I made I also made a sleeping one let me pull that one out you're going to like the sleeping one. I like the sleeping one a lot. But this was this month's kit. Um, next month's kit, we're going to be doing uh, uh, something different, which we'll talk about later. But this is the last chance to get this month's Club Crochet kit. The last chance that you got. Oh, did the music stop? No, no. The music's going. There we go. Um, this is your last chance to get this monthly kit. So sign up today. Literally today is like the last chance. I'm exporting the addresses at midnight tonight to ship out. So yeah, sign up tonight. Tonight. This is our sleeping one. 
and here's another one. So I explained how to do little spots too, just a little added addition to it. Um, I really like this this kit a lot. It's all worsted weight wool yarn too. It's like a different kind of yarn that we're using. It's very high quality wool. Um, you need you need wool because it needs to be a little stretchy. So I liked using uh, wool for that. But yeah, anyhow, that's the Club Crochet kit this month. Go sign up for it. Uh, you got like honestly like 12 hours because I'll probably export it like early, early in the morning. So um, yeah, sign up, sign up now before it's too late. You can also purchase merch. Uh, we have kits available in the shop as well. Um, merch like all these guys. I just added a strawberry crochet kit to the shop. Um, you might be able to find links to that in the description. We got all these fun stickers, some pins, and then the other way you can help support is with a donation. If you want to, you can help uh, support this channel by just donating. Um, you can donate by just going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. There's also a link in the description or you can do a super chat. If you do donate, um, I will put something out for you. It looks like we already have two. Hold on. I got to get this better. We have three donations already. Oh my gosh. Okay. So first up is Tina. Now today, what I'm going to do for donations that are less than five, I'm going to put out a pokeball. Now I only have so many pokeballs, so I might not be able to put out that many, but this is for Tina, a pokeball. You get to decide what Pokemon is in your pokeball. That's up to you. Now today I am going to be doing at the end of this video, um, I'm going to be doing a video, like a tutorial for this pokeball. The tutorial, uh, I'm going to do a full video tutorial for how to crochet pokeballs very soon, but I created this pattern like on Friday and I just haven't had a chance to video record it yet. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do just a quick video tutorial for how to crochet a pokeball at the end of this video, just to say like, thank you for just being you. So we're going to be doing a crochet tutorial for this pokeball a little later, but we're going to put out ones for everybody that supports. And this is for our good friend, Tina. Thank you for your support, Tina. We're going to put your pokeball right here. Let us know what Pokemon is in that pokeball or I'll let you know what Pokemon is in that Pokeball. Um, I'm a big fan of Pokemon, so I have a lot of favorites. Um, my absolute favorite, by the way, is Ralts. If you are a fan of Pokemon, that is my favorite Pokemon. I don't know why, I just love Ralts. I think he's so cute. Okay, wait, we need to find... I actually don't have a crocheted Ralts either, which is kind of a bummer, you know? I totally should have a crocheted Ralts if it's my favorite, you know? But for some reason, I just never made it. Um, hold on. I need to, I got, I got things everywhere, man. I got stuff everywhere. I'm, I got so many Pokeballs. Look at all these Pokeballs. I'm going to put this here because we're going to need that yarn. We're going to put the Pokeballs back here. Don't let me forget that I put them behind me when I, when I inevitably forget where I put those Pokeballs. And then, uh, we got another donation. Cooper with a big two zero. Thank you, Cooper for your donation for $20. Let's see, where's our, we got, we got a few rare Pokemon in here, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, this is a good one, I'm gonna put this one to the side. I really should have gotten set up by like getting my Pokemon out first. I'm gonna put that one to the side. That's gonna be for, I have one in mind for you, Mr. Cooper. I don't know if it's your favorite Pokemon or not, but I do have a really cool, rare, at least I think it's a rare Pokemon. Hold on, found another one of those. Hold tight, hold! By the way, this, uh, yesterday, as I'm trying to figure this out, yesterday I was on, or no, two days ago, I was on the, um, on the, the, the Vlogbrothers channel. I was on their channel. Um, they are doing a big, they were doing a big donation thing called the project for awesome it's very very cool i love it uh and they asked me to be on it just to like help you know raise money for charity and i donated a bunch of crochet kits to it um and it went really well it was awesome plus i was on the vlog brothers channel it was so cool i i i was a big i i had a lot of fun <laughs> it was like way way cool where did i put it oh Okay, I guess we're not going to have too many Pokemon out because I can't find Rowlet and I can't find... I had Rowlet out like yesterday. What? Okay, well, 
this big bucket of poke this big bucket of crochet things is gonna have to have different crochet things out so we're gonna put something else that could be a Pokemon but it's not a Pokemon out for you mr. Cooper thank you for your donation so we're gonna put out this I call this a dust bunny it's not a Pokemon but dang does it look like one so we're gonna put it out right there and then for uh, oh my god we got another donation for Frankie whoa Frankie set up a monthly tip I didn't even know you could do that Frankie thank you thank you so much how I didn't even know you could do that I'm gonna put out I'm gonna put out one of the Pokemon that we weren't able to make today a Charmander it's very cute very tiny itty bitty Charmanders I want to make another Pokemon Pokeball where you can like put the Pokemon in it too. Uh, someone said their favorite Pokemon. Oh, your Pokeball caught Poliwrath. Oh, I love Poliwrath. I love Poliwrath. That's a great choice. Good choice. Um, oh, I should put Woggles. Oh, yes, yes. It, the Dust Bunny does look like a Woggle. It was actually a precursor, I think, to the Woggle. Um, Frankie. Oh, I got Frankie's out. Rebecca donated for two bucks. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, tell Jimothy I say hi if he's there. We're gonna put out. We're gonna put out another Pokeball for you, Rebecca. What is in your Pokeball, Rebecca? Let us know. Let us know. I put it in front of me. What did I put in front of me? Well, whatever. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Okay. So those are your ways to donate. That's your support. We got all this stuff going on. Wow, wow, we wow. Okay. Yes, we are making Bulbasaur today, Daisy Kid. That is true. Okay, so we're gonna start. I'm using the tutorial on the website, um, so I'm gonna have my check marks and stuff up. Let's move this out of the way. We won't need these colors just yet. We're gonna start with our. We're gonna start by making the bulb of bulb Bulbasaur, his namesake, really. How is everybody? Do I have a Pokemon name? I do name all my Pokemon. Well, not all of them, but I name like I name my favorite ones whenever I catch them. Um, I like to name them. I, the last Pokemon game that I played, uh, I haven't played Arceus uh, Legends of Arceus yet. Jules is currently playing that, um, so I don't. I want to play it once she's done playing it, so that I can have like exclusive access to Pokemon. But my, um, uh, the last one I played was Sword and Shield, which I liked a lot. And they just announced today, uh, two new ones, uh, uh, Violet and, Violet and, it starts with an S. It's like not red, but it is red. I don't know. It's one of those. Oh, also, if you become a Club Crochet member today, I'll put something out for you as well. I forgot about that. Let me get that set up so I can see when someone becomes a Club Crochet member. Oh, well, we got one already. We got... I, I wish I could check to see if, how many people... Okay, one... Two! We got two! Vanilla... Oh, we got a year-long membership! Okay. Okay, so we got one from Vanilla, F-V-N-L-A is what they go by. I'm going to put out a, uh, I'm going to put out something special for you, Vanilla. Oh, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. We're going to put out a, yeah. For becoming a member, we're going to put out a great ball for you. So Vanilla, thank you for becoming a member. You can let us know what you want. And hey, Rachel, what was your Pokemon? I think I missed it if it was in the chat. Oh, there it is. Oh, no Jim, no Jimothy today. That's okay. Um, and then for our other donation, uh, Ace. Ace became a Club Crochet member for the entire year, which I don't know if you knew that, but you can do that. Um, so for Ace, I'm going to put out something really cute that uh, I ha I lost. I couldn't find him for the longest time. Um, this is a raptor that I was working on. We are going to be doing more dinosaurs later this, this uh, year. And so this was like my test of doing a raptor. And look at how derpy and cute he is. Oh my gosh. I kind of wish I'd made him a little bit darker of color so you can see his teeth a little bit better. But I mean, <laughs> look at how derpy he is. He's so cute. So this is going to be one of the patterns I'm going to come out with later this year for uh, 
more dinosaurs. Um, but I'm going to put that out there for you, Ace. Thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. Uh, I don't know if you're in the chat, but I appreciate it. What's behind me? Something's behind me. Everybody's saying something's behind me. What's behind me? Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to figure that out at a later point. Okay. Um, thank you for everybody that becomes Club Crochet members, by the way. It it really is like, you, it makes a lot. Oh, we got one right now, Frankie. Thank you, Frankie. Okay, okay, okay. One for Frankie. I'm, look at I'm almost out of Pokeballs already. I only have three. I'm gonna save a Pokeball, and we're gonna put another, let's see, let's put out, um, how about a, let's put out a, uh, let's see, I'm so indecisive. I'm so indecisive. Let's put out our little, yes, let's put out a little turtle. A little turtle. This is for you, Frankie. Thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. A little tiny turtle. Another pattern that I need to come out with soon. It's a very easy pattern. I actually think I explained how to do it in the last live stream. So we'll put it right there. I'm sure he'll go, actually, even better. He's, he's sitting on top of the raptor's head. That won't stay very long, but that's okay. Okay, back to crocheting. Okay, I got a crochet still. I still got a crochet, guys. All right, we're gonna do a, uh, we're on round two of the bulb. And yeah, I hope you guys had a great week. I had a pretty good week. It was a little bit like, I, you, oh, Chief, you wrote down that pattern last week? That's awesome. You should send it to me so I can write it down, so I can just add it to the website. Um. Yeah, it was a pretty good week. I mean, that like being on that Vlog Brothers channel was freaking cool, like way cool. Uh, that was awesome. My friend Choppa actually was the one that got me on there. So, if you're in the chat, which you're probably not, but if you happen to be Choppa, thank you so much for always being an awesome dude and thinking about me. And I just appreciate it a lot. Um, but yeah, it was way cool. It it was scary because it was with a bunch of Australians. And, and Aussies are just bring Aussie energy, you know? When you got an Aussie in the room, it changes everything. And so I had, there was three Aussies on the other side of the Zoom call. And I was like, this is a lot of Australia. <laughs> but it was really cool. It was really cool. I, I, I matched, I matched their energy, I would say. Hello, Valkyrie. Welcome to the chat, and hello to everybody that I haven't said hello to in the chat. Thank you, everybody, for joining. We have 100 people watching right now, which is crazy. And again, we're doing that giveaway. Oh, yeah, that giveaway. I forgot to mention we're doing a giveaway today. Um, well, if this video gets 400 likes, we're going to do another giveaway next live stream. So everybody that's watching should like this video just because there's a lot of people right here right now. And yeah, it would be cool. Um, oh, Kelly... Okay, we're going to talk about the giveaway in just a second. But Kelly said that uh, Kelly won the giveaway last time and said that they ended up using their giveaway money for the dragon kit and a burb pin. That's right. We got burb pins. Thank you so much for awesome live streams and how you always make sure. To... You're the best. Kelly, you're the best. Thank you so much for being sweet and nice and in the chat and actually using the, the money. Sometimes I do giveaways and I send people money and then I look and it's like they never even used it. And I'm like... Use go on. It's fine. It's okay. I'm. I gave you that money for a reason. <laughs> um, how do we change the energy? Ooh, like this. You gotta get real sarcastic and sad. How low? How how low can you go? Okay, donate or uh uh bleh, giveaway. Okay, finally, let's talk about the giveaway. Today we're gonna be doing a giveaway for a Pokeball. I think we're gonna do. Let's see, let's see. How about this? Let's see how many likes does this video currently have. I'm gonna do something a little weird today. For every 100 likes, not only if we get to 350, I'll do another giveaway next week, but every 100 likes, we'll do another giveaway for a Pokeball. And it's really, really easy to enter the giveaway. All you gotta do 
is uh, go to the form. That I put a link in the uh, description of this video, and I'm going to put it in the chat in just a second. And all you have to do is go to that form and fill it out. And all really the only important thing is that you need to put in your email and your name, and you need to put in the secret passcode, which I'm going to make up in just a second. But we're going to have a secret passcode so that you have to be watching the live stream in order to enter the giveaway. I thought that was kind of like a fun thing to do. Oh, the turtle jumped. Thank you, Alice. Thank you for letting me know. There you go. Saved it. Um, so what is the, now we got to figure out what is the. Ooh, I just I, I forgot to turn on accepting responses, but the responses are being accepted right now. The secret. What is the secret code? Um, hmm. Let's see. What, what do you think a secret code should be? Oh, let's do, it's gotta be Pokemon related, right? We're gonna do, oh, here we go. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is put in what, uh, the secret code is whatever your favorite Pokemon is. <laughs> and it can't be Pikachu, okay? Even if it is Pikachu, what's your second favorite Pokemon? So all you have to do is go into the giveaway into the into the questionnaire which i'm putting in the chat in just a second once i figure this part out there we go boom and the secret code is just what's your favorite pokemon easy easy secret code and it can't be pikachu if you put pikachu you will not win <laughs> i'm being mean no brandon it's not pikachu I, I'm calling BS. That's no one's favorite Pokemon. Who's, whose favorite Pokemon is Pikachu? Now, Dragonite's a good answer right there. Snorlax. Snorlax is also a good answer. I love Snorlax. You gotta love a good Snorlax. Alright, so let's keep going here. You gotta love Snorlax. Honestly, he's just great. And Munchlax? Mm, you gotta love a Munchlax. <laughs> but not Pikachu. Okay, go enter the giveaway, and I'm just going to choose uh, random. It's just going to be completely random, whoever wins. Uh, and we're going to do another giveaway for a Pokeball for every person that um, that enters the giveaway. I mean, I mean, for every person, for every 100 people that like this video. So every 100 likes, we'll do another Pokeball giveaway. Which means I might have to make other Pokeballs later in this live stream. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're gone. Which is fine because we're going to make another Pokeball later in this video too. Whopper. Oh, I love Whopper. That's a great choice, Daniela. That is a good Pokemon. I like how he's like... <laughs> uh, but yeah, what? Saf no, not Sapphire. It's Violet and... What's the color that's like not red? It's like this color, Scarlet. Scarlet and uh, Scarlet and Violet. That's the new Pokemon names. Coffee and Crochet! Thank you for joining the, ch the chat. Um, Coffee and Crochet is our moderator today. Sarah might be here as well. Um, can I say hi, Brandon? Hello, Brandon. How are you? I hope you're having a great day, Brandon. When is the next video, asks Ariana. Arena, arena. Um, okay, so the next video I'm gonna be coming out with is probably gonna be that Pokeball right there. I'm gonna be doing a Pokeball pattern. Um, and then, oh no, actually, the next video is on Wednesday. We're doing, um, Jules and I are doing another episode of our podcast on Wednesday. Coffee and crochet, you're always here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Kelly. Kelly said that their favorite Pokemon was Groot. <laughs> Adding no Pokemon. The closest thing to Groot probably would be... I want to say it'd be Shiftree. Oh, Shiftree, actually. Shiftree's probably pretty close to Groot. Or, or, um, I want, like, you know that one that's like, but it's rock type, but it's like a tree and it's like this? Um, oh, what's that Pokemon's name? <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about. Uh, from, from Gold and Silver, and it's got a 
Bonsley is the is the I know the pre-evolution. Bonsley and and it evolves into Sudowoodo. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, Kimmy. But it's not he's not really a tree. He's he's really a big rock. One, two, three. Ooh, tree tree venon is a yeah, that's a good group. That's a good group. How is my day? So far, so good, Brandon. I um, I woke up a little late, but that's because Jimbo was asleep on me, and what am I supposed to do? Get up? No, I don't think so. So, <laughs> I did sleep in a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been pretty good. I'm really excited for next week. Um, next week, I'm doing a big event in Sacramento. Um, so if you are in Northern California, specifically you're near Sacramento, uh, and you want to come meet me in person, you will have that opportunity. <laughs> Kelly, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I will make sure. Okay, yeah. Thank you for entering still. I appreciate you still entering. Um, but yes, I won't. I, I won't let you win it. <laughs> because you specifically asked. Um, I'm doing Stitches West this week. So Stitches West, it is a big event that is specifically like yarn related. It is like a, yeah, like a yarn event. So there's a bunch of different knitting booths, yarn. Yeah, there's not a lot of crochet booths. Actually, I think that I might be the only crochet booth there, but I am very, very excited for it. Um, I spent all week making this, um, well, not all week. I spent one day making like a, a really cool page on the website that's specifically for the booth so that like people can purchase kits at the booth if I don't have them available at the booth itself. So yeah, yeah I, I, I'm just, it's funny. I'm just like really proud of it. Leafeon, good choice, Clara. Love your name, by the way, Clara. That's a, that's a good name. Okay, um, we are now, I finished the bulb. That's this little fella right here. Next up, I'm gonna make the ears. Oh, interesting. I haven't made this pattern in literally years. I haven't made these ears in years. So, uh, yeah, bear with me. I am, I am relearning this pattern. You're now ex-boyfriend? Oh no. Uh-oh. I saw the screen do a little flishy flashy. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little... Hold on. It says I'm in excellent condition now. Laggy froze, but we're back. It's buffering. We're good. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna make sure by posting an emoji of a shrimp. Post an emoji of a shrimp so that I know that it's... You guys can hear me. Let's see how long the lag is. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Back on track. There we go. Twenty seconds. That's not that bad. Twenty seconds is pretty good. Kelly was on it. She was like, "Shrimp. I like to post shrimps." <laughs> I get, dude, Sam, I know that feeling 100%. Sam is like, it is an ex-boyfriend for a reason. They did not appreciate your crocheted hearts the way that they should have. I have been in that exact situation. Literally, Sam, literally that exact situation. <laughs> I crocheted someone a heart and then uh, we stayed together for a long time, but she did not appreciate my crocheted heart. And I, and I mean that metaphorically and literally. You want to hear the story? It's a good story. I'm going to tell you, even if you didn't want to hear it. So when I was... <laughs> when I was in high school, I crocheted... Uh, I, it's when I got really into crocheting. And I crocheted a an anatomical... My first anatomical human heart for someone. Uh, we were dating already. Uh... It was actually, she was one of the reasons why I started crocheting was because I wanted to like make her crocheted things to, to 
you know, try to get her girl out with me. And uh, so I crocheted her an anatomical human heart for, um, for uh, Valentine's Day or her birthday or something. I don't remember what the reason was. Um, but, you know, the idea was, this is my heart, you know, don't hurt it, blah, blah, blah. And then we dated for a while. Uh, we both moved up to San Francisco. And then uh, uh, we broke up. It was a... I'm not going to give you all the details of the relationship, but it was a... Uh, not a great relationship uh, for me specifically, but eventually I got the courage to finally break things off. And she was so upset that she ripped a hole, literally ripped a hole in the uh, in the heart. And the reason she did that was because I would put secret notes in everything that I would give her. There were like little secret notes, and the idea was that she'll never know what the note is. They. You'll never know what it is because it's a secret. But then she ripped it open to get the secret out. And I'm pretty sure that the note was something like, I think I might be like, I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable in the relationship or something, something like that. But um, yeah, it was a tough time. Uh, if I'm going to be completely honest, it was weird. Uh, <laughs> and so she literally ripped a hole in my heart. And gave it back to me. She gave she gave me back everything that I crocheted her with little holes in them. Yeah. But I mean, what a story, right? I still have it. You want to see it? I have it right here. I keep it, I keep it with me. Uh, where is it? I guess I don't have it right here. I thought I had it, like, right here. Oh, there it is. It is. It was. It was behind like some stuff in there. See this. This. See. Happy Valentine's Day, and then she r literally ripped a hole in in my heart. <laughs> can't get can't get more uh, metaphorical than that. <laughs> Oopsies. I didn't. I didn't do this right. I was distracted. Okay. We got one, two, three, four, five. Gotta keep going. Clara was named after her grandmother, while your grandma had a great name too. Jules just got a new niece this uh, this week. I guess I kind of got a new niece. And Jules and I aren't married yet, but you know, I'm basically just waiting for her to propose. What? <laughs> She's not here. She can't hear me, so it's fine. Anyhow, uh, Sophie, a new new niece named Sophie. She's so cute. She looks like a little elf. She's so cute. <laughs> She's really cute. Okay, so we're making. I'm making little tiny legs right now. By the way, possible future needs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it was really cute. I, I really, uh, I'm really excited to meet Sophie. They live up in Sacramento, so we'll probably see them next week when we do our event. Maybe. I might, I might, like, abstain because I'm going to be seeing a lot of people, and I don't want to, you know, contract anything and give it to, you know, I just don't want to risk it with a new baby. But it is very exciting. Seventh child... Okay, Cheryl just said that in the, in the chat that their cousin's partner just gave birth to their seventh child, and his name is Charlie, which is the cutest name, but also seven kids. What are you, crazy? You never let them outnumber you. That's like rule number one. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of kids. That's a lot of kids, especially in today's world. That's a lot of kids. Wow. Congratulations. Becoming another second cousin. You got a lot of second cousins, Cheryl. <laughs> Dude, Tanny, thank you so much. Keep up the thank you, Tan Tanny. Is that did you make what you're wearing in your thumbnail there? That orange outfit? That's crazy if you made that. I hope you did make it. Alright, one of the legs is done. 
We're powering through. If we go fast enough, we might be able to make two Pokemon. We'll see. Look at that little leg, though. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, uh, we got a new Club Crochet member. Caroline... Caroline... Coon. Caroline... Well, Carolyn. It'll probably... it. They get, like, fixed up in here every now and then. Oh, Frankie! Wait. Frankie... Is that the same Frankie? That donated? It might be. If it is the same Frankie and you're in the chat, like, dude, thank you! <laughs> Frankie, you rock! Um... But also, Carolyn. Uh, we're gonna put out something for Carolyn. Uh, we're gonna do... Let's put out a Pokemon. I mean, come on. Like, right, we're doing a Pokemon stream. We're gonna put out a Gastly for you, Caroline. Thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. Um, I don't know if you're currently in this chat, but if you are, say hello. Thank you so much. Do I have a Mudkip pattern? I don't, but I love Mudkip. I do love Mudkip. I love Swampert. What's the one in between Swampert and Mudkip? I feel like I should know that. I know a lot of Pokemon. I'm a, I'm, I am definitely a Pokey nerd, for sure. I know a lot of them. You know, I'm kind of surprised. Why didn't they ever make? Why haven't they made like an Alolan? Not like an Alolan form. I don't know if you, uh, if you're a fan of Pokemon. They've been doing this new thing where they do like different forms of old Pokemon in new Pokemon games. So, for example, there is an a form in a low end form that's what it's called of a um of a vault picks that's like ice type uh and and i'm surprised they haven't done one for ghastly yet i'd love to see a different version of ghastly even though ghastly is just like perfect as is i'd love to see what they do with ghastly or gengar like a weird looking gengar i mean gengar already kind of looks weird but still that'd be cool um sam thank you so much for your donation we're gonna put out Sam? Sam says, despite the sad story, those hearts were start of my crochet journey, so thank you. Sam, you rock 100%. You're going to find a dude that's going to appreciate your crocheted hearts. And I did the same exact thing where I, like, you know, despite despite it being a terrible relationship, crochet, it, that relationship is one of the reasons why I got crochet. And so, you know, it leaves a silver lining. Regardless of how bad it is, it's got a silver lining. So Sam, thank you so much for your donation. I'm going to put out a special one for you. Um, we're going to put out an Ultra Ball for you that I made. Um, this is the first start of an Ultra Ball. It's not bad. I think I could do a little bit thicker of the, the yellow lines, but I think it's pretty good. And Sam, this is going to be out for you. Since, since it's an Ultra Ball, it's going to catch something special. So like, maybe like a, uh, a Dragonite or like a... I don't know. Something something a little bit stronger. A champ. I don't know if you can catch him a champ in the wild. You can in the new Alolan game. Or in the new game, I think. But We're going to put that right here for you. Thank you so much, Sam. Alright, so we are on... One, two, three, four, five. We're making our second leg. Because we needed to make two. Um, and this is going to be the front leg. These are the front legs, by the way. I made a Pokeball uh, this week, so I've been messing around with this Pokeball pattern. And I made one this week that was a... Um, it has a button on it. I'll go grab it in a second once I finish. Um, once I, How about once I finish this leg? I'll just go run out and grab it really quick. But... It's very, it's cool. It's a good start. Like, I think I need to work on it a little bit more, but it's a good start for a pattern. Beep, beep. Beep, beep says, I joined a bit late. What are we doing? We're crocheting Bulbasaur today. We are crocheting Bulbasaur. Bulba. Bulba. My first Pokemon game was Pokemon... Mm, I think it was blue. I remember vividly going to Toys R Us to buy it. And I had to, um... 
We had to like you had to like take a card off of the wall and bring it to the front and then they'd have it. And I and I remember like convincing my parents, I'm gonna I want this game, I want this game so bad. I'm gonna it teaches me to read. I was little. I was a I was a wee little one. Probably I think Pokemon I think it came out in nineteen ninety nine. So I was seven years old, I think, when the first Pokemon came out. Game came out, so I was the perfect age for Pokemon. And I've played it honestly ever since. I think I've gotten almost every single Pokemon game except for uh, Black and White Two. I never got that one. All right, we got two front legs. Have I made a teddy bear? I think I have made a teddy bear, but I never made one for the for like my website. I should though, huh? That'd be smart. So we got two front legs. Look at this. It's like a little. It's like a little, yeah, front leg. I don't know. <laughs> really? The first TV show came out before the game came out? Is that true? I know the game came out in Japan earlier than it came out in um, the West. The West. It's funny that they call us the West because really... From Japan, it's closer to go east. So we're really the east from Japan. Um, okay. Where are we at? First, we got to check for new members. We're good. All right. Now we are making the noggin. We're making our head. Um, that's going to be pretty easy. Oh my gosh, I remember the first Pokemon game vivid or first Pokemon movie vividly. I actually have you know what? Let me I forgot. I want to go grab something for you guys. Let me go grab you that Pokeball and then also um something that I got we were you're talking about the first Pokemon movie, so I'm going to talk about that in a second too. So, let me go grab my two things. I'll be right back. Give me count to 10. Wait, no. Count to 15. Fourteen, fifteen. There. <laughs> Wait, don't actually count, Kelly. Oh boy. Um. Okay. So, <laughs> so first off, here's the Pokeball that I made. It's, see, you can see it's like it needs a little bit of work. It just looks a little taller than I really want it to be. Hi, Jiminy. My real life Pokemon just came to join. There. You want to say hi, and then I'm gonna no I'm gonna I'm gonna lock him out. Hi, buddy. You want to say hi? Purring. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. You come back to say hi later. <sighs> okay. Um, Jimbo's the best. I love him so much. But he can get a lot. Very distracting in these live streams. And there's already a lot of stuff to distract me. So I'll bring him back later to say hi. Um, but anyhow, here's the... <laughs> here's that Pokeball. And uh, you see, you can take it, you can unbutton it, and it opens up. I just put stuffing in it to kind of like hold its shape. But um, yeah, it's not a bad start. I think I just need to make one that's bigger. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, see you later, Brandon. Thanks for joining. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's not a bad Pokeball. I just need a little work. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was from the first Pokemon movie, um, they gave out these cards for these, like, Mews. Like, it was like a shiny, like, ancient Mew card. And my neighbor worked for a movie theater... And he gave me literally a box of like 400 of these cards. So I have so many still. I don't know where they're all at. This is the only one I know where it is. I keep it in my living room. Uh, because it reminds me of it. But it's like an ancient Mew card. 
Isn't it cool? Look how shiny it is. Ooh, ah. But anyhow, back to it. Sam! Sam super chatted. Did I miss that? Oh, no, no. that No, that was Sam. Doi. Doi. A doi. Okay. Back to work, Lewis. I should make a little Pokeball with catnip in it, huh? That'd be really smart. I should go. Maybe I should. Maybe we could do that later in this live stream. I think I can find some uh, catnip. I think I have some somewhere. I was thinking about it last week because we were like, people were saying I should make a catnip in the strawberry. Dude, Chief Snobbles. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for that terrible memory. Two, three, four, five, six. Beep, beep. Thank you for the donation. Beep, beep just said, my school started a crochet club recently, and that's how I got interested in crochet and found your channel. You rock. Your school rocks. Your crochet, the crochet club at your school rocks. Um, You guys all are the best. Thank you for your donation. Let's put out, um, let's put out another poke. Oh, I'm running, I'm out of Pokemon. I have a Rowlet somewhere, but I don't know where it is. People kept saying, it's behind me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's no Rowlet behind me. Let's do a Burb. A Burb is like a Pokemon in and of itself, I think. Plus, this one kind of looks like the Toucan Pokemon. <laughs> Which, I don't know what the Toucan Pokemon is, but it's literally just a Toucan with like a really big beak. So this is the closest I can get to it, beep beep. This is for you. This toucan does have a name. I can't remember what it is, but I know someone has named it before. And obviously it's a burb, so that means that the head can be removed. <laughs> you know, I, I think after a while that would not get funny, me removing the head to show another head. But it is so stupid <laughs> that it makes me laugh every single time. I love it. So we're going to put this out right here behind our turtle. Peeping through. Peeping past. Two cannon. That's his name. Yes. Two cannon. Two canon. The sound. Is the music even playing? It's so quiet. It's so quiet. Wow. We've already been going almost an hour. That's crazy. It does not feel like that at all. So we're going to go to here. I was playing just random Pokemon music, but I'm just going to switch it up. Okay. Man, that's a bummer that it keeps like freezing on us, huh? <laughs> 117 people are watching. How many? So how many giveaways are we doing so far? Two giveaways so far. Wow, we're almost up to our third giveaway. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway, the link is in the description of this video. Um, I don't have Stardew Valley music like prepped. I don't have just like a bunch of Stardew Valley music, but I do have. Um, it's like mixed in with this other music. So eventually, I'm sure you'll hear Stardew Valley music. Uh, hmm, asks, what Pokemon are you making? I am currently making uh, Bulbasaur. I'm making Bulbasaur right now. Hey, Bulbasaur. Bulba. Yes, what Brandon said. Everyone like and subscribe. Or else. Or else I'll be like, oh, okay, that's fine, too. <laughs> Stardew Valley, you know what's so cool about Stardew Valley? Is that um, it was made by one dude. Just one dude made Stardew Valley. What a passionate guy. Like, how passionate do you have to be to make such a insanely, like, deep, you know, it's just like, a, that game is a lot. It's got a lot. I mean, it is like, you know, pixel art and stuff, but still, you put a lot of work into that. It is very impressive. And whenever I see something that, like, one dude has made, uh, I'm always very, like, wow, that guy cares a lot. Or gal, obviously. Um, oh, new member. 
Who we got? Who we got? Mick. Mick, thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Let's put out... I think we should start the frog train. <laughs> I think the frog train is, is ready to leave the station. Is this one magnetic? No. We'll start with everyone's favorite Pokemon. It's not really a Pokemon at all, but a pug. It's a Pog. It could be a Pokemon. I mean, pugs honestly are basically Pokemon. <laughs> just, <laughs> they're like the Porygons of the real world. Like we built them, <laughs> we designed them. <laughs> they're normal type. Um, this is for you, Mick. Thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. We're gonna put out your little pug right here. This pug's name is Hacksaw, by the way. If you were curious if I have a name for this pug, I certainly do. You know what, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put that right there, that right there, and we're just gonna, gonna start the, the stack of bonimals. There we go. Ah, this Charmander does not wanna stand up. He's like, I don't, I wanna evolve already. There we go. There we go. We cruising. We cruising. Tango. You named it Tango from the... Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, you named this Toucan Tango. Perfect. Thank you, Elena. Thank you for remembering. We need a... We need something that, like, keeps track of all that. The Bonimals are coming out... Uh, thank you for asking, Lauren. Um, the Bonimals are coming out next month so they're coming out in March sometime and that's gonna be the March crochet kit you're gonna make three bonimals with magnets in them three different ones. Oh, Jimbo is pushing on the door I thought I honestly thought we were about to have an earthquake it sounded like an earthquake and I was like oh no um, anyhow yeah bonimals are coming out next month and it's gonna be next month crochet kit you're gonna be able to make three different kinds of bonimals um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So if you don't wanna sign up for a Club Crochet Pro kit this month, because you're like, oh, that reversible frog that Lou was showing earlier is cool. Like, don't get me wrong, that's really cool. And I do want a crochet kit. Well, then you gotta sign up for tonight. But if you're like, ah, this one's kinda cool, but I wanna wait for the next one. Well, that's silly. You should sign up for this one and get this one and next one. But, uh, 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 next month we're going to be making three different kinds of bonimals too. So you're going to have other options also. Three different kinds, all stacked on top of their heads. Uh, Keith asks, what is the secret code? Um, we are doing a giveaway right now for a Pokeball. You win a Pokeball if you are, um, we're going to do as many giveaways as we have 100 likes. So every 100 likes we'll do another giveaway for a Pokeball. And uh, the secret code that you need to enter in the, in the link that's in the uh, description is uh, your favorite Pokemon. That's it. You just need to put in whatever your favorite Pokemon is, and it can't be Pikachu. I don't want to hear, I don't want to see any Pikachus in there. Pikachu is a lame answer, in my opinion. Pikachu's cute and all, but, but there are better Pokemon out there, in my opinion. And it's my channel, so I can say that. <laughs> I just think Pikachu's overhyped. We see Pikachu everywhere. Kind of same as Charizard, but I get why people's favorite Pokemon is Charizard. Okay. I gotta use these check marks. I gotta keep track. I'm on round five of the head if you're following along in the patterns. Ooh, ready? Let's see if we can get the cracks on the other side. Raichu is absolutely a valid answer. I think Raichu is a really cool Pokemon. Okay, six and an increase. Four, five, six. And we'll increase one. And then finish up with eight. Okay, cool. That's easy. Hey, Johnny. Oh my God, Johnny, welcome. 
I was wondering where you've been. I I figured that it, the one day you didn't show up was Super Bowl Sunday, and I was like, oh, it's Super Bowl Sunday. She's probably just watching Super Bowl. But then I was like, she ain't here this week or next week. But that's okay. That's okay. I totally understand. I'm not trying to shame you. <laughs> But it's really good to see you, Johnny. How have you been? How's your how have your weeks been? I hope you've had a wonderful month, or couple of weeks, or whatever. I think Whopper is a very adorable Pokemon, also. Oh, who's the Pokemon that pretends it's Pikachu? I can't remember the name of that Pokemon. No, oh, yes, I do. It starts with an M. M, M Mimic Oh, someone just said it. Mimic Yes, Mimic I wish it duplicated other Pokemon, though. Like, you could find one that was like Bulbasaur or Squirtle and stuff. That'd be fun. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, I hope you're feeling better, Johnny. And I hope you're having a wonderful month. That's true. Ditto does that. I'm not saying that it would like mimic. You could like duplicate other ones. I just kind of wish that you could like find other versions of Mimikyu in the wild. Kind of like how, um, you know, there's there's like certain Pokemon that have like different versions of themselves. Like uh, there's the one that like hangs from trees, and there's like the grass one, and a and a there's a pink one and a green one and a rock one it'd be kind of cool if Mimikyu did that too but it wasn't different types of Pokemon like there, was, there wasn't anything different about it it just looked kind of like a fake you know Squirtle or something yeah Chief Snobbles got me they gets me do a Blastoise that would be cool I should do a Blastoise all right so we have got the head started you can see it right here see how it's got just a little bit of an arc right there because we're adding a little nose right there um, I think I need to decrease one more round and then I can add eyes. Yes. And spots and dark green. Okay. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Again, these patterns are free today only. So if you want to uh, crochet these patterns, get them right there. There's a link in the description. Or, I mean, a link right here and in the description. Clubcrochet.com slash Pokemon. Free tutorials. One, two, three. There it is, Burmy and Worm and Lamb. Yes, those are the ones I was talking about. Wow, we got a lot of Poke Nerds in the in the chat. That's wonderful. I wasn't sure how many of my <laughs> how many people would join and be like, I like Pokemon. I'm I'm glad to hear that a lot do though. One, two, three, and then an invisible decrease. Okay, we're we're cruising, dudes. Now we gotta add the eyes. Look how tiny. This is gonna be a tiny bulbous right. You're gonna move about that big. Um we want eyes. We want six millimeter eyes though. Where'd I put my six millimeter eyes? I got my eight millimeter eyes here. By the way, if you want to get these, these are available now in the shop. Um, I call them a bottle, of, bottle of, oh eyes. <laughs> it's just a bottle like this. And uh, yeah, it's got, I think it's got 100, 50 or 100 eyes you get to choose, but um, we have eight millimeter and six millimeter eyes available. Uh, I really like it a lot. It's a great way to store your eyes and it's waterproof. So, I mean, not that you're really gonna need it to be waterproof, but you know, it's nice for it to be waterproof. It's a cool little perk. I, I have a six millimeter bottle somewhere, but I can't find it. So I'm just gonna use my spare six millimeter eyes instead. Um, ooh, Sandile is a cool one, Ellie. That's a cool Pokemon. Halfway to another, we already have two giveaways. Halfway to another one. 
That's crazy, baby. I'm a crazy baby. <laughs> what? <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. I'm crazy. Alright. Let's see. I think we want the eyes like right here, maybe? I know we want it a little lower than you would think. But how far away is the real question? Does this, does this look good for eyes? You find out. That, is that too far away? No, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Because we're going to put the ears right here and right here. Well, maybe we want to go one higher, though. Let's try one up. It says round five in the pattern, so one, two. Well, this would be round five, though. Okay, I'll get, we'll keep it. We'll listen to the pattern. You know, let's listen to past Lewis. That's okay. And then the ears, where are the ears going, though? The ears will go, like, right here, right? Yeah. Um, I got here after the explanation for the giveaway and asked for a code, yes. The secret code, Johnny, is just what is your favorite Pokemon? Whatever your favorite Pokemon is, and it can't be Pikachu. That's it. Alright, so... Where do we want these here ears? These here's ears. Well, right there. Is that too low? Let's look at the picture. Ah, it's not far enough back. Also, it looks higher in the... Oh, did I miss a round? No, I don't think I did, actually. I just think I could use... I, I'm going to put these eyes one higher. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like them higher up. We're going to do that. I need to re not rewrite this pattern, but like... Um, re, like, produce it, you know? Actually, that looks too high now, doesn't it? This ear is definitely not far enough back. It's pressing on your nose. Okay, let's try, let's try this. I'm gonna go one forward, right here. And Kelly's got an army of baby Yodas. It's a dangerous army. Rogu, attack! Do we like that for the eyes? It's gonna be like decreased in like that. I mean, it's simple. It's like a simple eye thing, but... And we'll try one ear here. One ear here. One ear here. One ear there. How do you turn on the super chat? It is a... Um, the little dollar icon at the bottom of the chat there. And I'll put something out for you if you if you do decide to super chat, which I would very much appreciate, obviously. <laughs> Alright, we are adding these here ears. These here's ears. Let's see, how does this look? One. And two. Let's see out a little bit. That's not bad. I think this is all right for ears. It's a little bit like facing down, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Let's see. Because we could make it go like up, upright more. I'm cool with this. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna double knot this, and we're gonna live our life. On the edge. Ooh, so crazy. I'm a crazy, I'm a crazy cat. Meow, meow. One ear. There. And another ear over here. 
right like that. You want a pet frog? I want a pet frog. Except Jimbo will probably eat a frog. <laughs> Jimbo is a uh, an apex predator. <laughs> He's the fluffiest apex predator. <laughs> the idea of, of Jimbo as an apex predator makes me laugh. Yes, we're crocheting Bulbasaur right now. And then later we're going to do a pattern for a, um, dude, Frankie, man, Frankie's on fire today, dude. Frankie did, Frankie became a Club Crochet member with a year-long membership. They supported for $10 a month on a tip. I think that's the same Frankie. And, oh my gosh, we got a double whammy. Holy cannoli. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ah, oh, oh. Ah. Okay, so first off, for Mr. Frankie, for being such a uh, a pro, such a pro, we're gonna put out, oh my god, look at those ears though, that looks really good. Okay, I'm, I'll add the, the locking mechanism for the eye in just a second. Um, this is for you, Mr. Frankie. Thank you for your support. I was waiting for someone to give this to, and Frankie, you have been going above and beyond, so I super appreciate it. You get the Master Ball today. I just made this one last night. It's not a perfect Master Ball. It kind of looks like a funky Master Ball <laughs> a little bit. I need to I need to work on the pattern a little bit. The idea here is it's a... Uh, see you later, Takayaki. Thanks for joining. I was thinking about you yesterday. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I was working on these, like, the round parts here, but they look kind of weird, you know? They're just a little too much, but... Frankie, it's still a master ball. So it's just for you. We're gonna put this out right on top of that. No, no, no. There's gonna be something else that's going, going on top of that. Actually, Alice's Alice's donation is gonna go on top of this your pug here. We'll go right. We're gonna, we're gonna go like we'll go like, like that. Like that. Cooper's dust bunny is getting covered up though. How, how though but but though how though okay we can do it like that we can do it like that um okay uh and then for alice thank you so much for your donations alice uh actually i was gonna put a bonimo but let's do a burb because you donate for 10 bucks let's do a very rare bird a very rare burb that's pattern is not out just yet um actually no even rarer this one. The cockatoo. The cockatoo. Look at how beautiful. Look at this crown. Beautiful crown. Wow. Much cute. Very wow. Very burb. <laughs> this is out for you, Alice. Thank you so much. So, so much for your donation. Sir Pro Gray! Happy Pokemon Day! Dude, Sir Pro Gray's in the chat, everybody. Say hi. If you guys don't know Sir Pro Gray, he is a pro, pro crocheter and a really good Pokemon crocheter. He has crocheted a bunch of different Pokemon. I think the last one I saw was, I think, uh, Ninetales was the last one. But he's been doing a bunch of crochet Pokemon patterns. If you want some more crochet Pokemon patterns, go check him out. Um, and he's in the chat right now. Thanks for joining. Thank you for joining, Philip. Actually, we just did a collaboration pattern together uh, like a few weeks ago for a reversible corgi. If you didn't know, that was his design. I think you did know that probably because I say it every single time we talk about it. But this is his reversible corgi pattern. Check it out. It goes, it goes happy corgi and then turns around and gets into oh, grumpy corgi. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? Grumpy corgi. But the cute one is so cute. Go check that one out, too. Anyhow, thanks for joining, Phil. All right. I saw I saw Phil playing uh, Pokemon... Uh, uh, what What's the Pokemon game you play? The one that it's like... It's kind of like League of Legends, but Pokemon. He, he started playing it at like... 
at like 2 or 3 a.m. the other night. I saw you do that, which is, I think, even later for you because your time zone is different, but I'm not sure. Anyhow, I saw you play Pokemon really late at night. He's a huge Pokemon fan. Uh, uh, but yeah, thanks for joining, Philip. And Johnny, thank you for your donation. Johnny, what do we put out for you? Oh, what? You haven't been here for a sec, so maybe we should do something that we made last week. Let's do that. We'll, oh, but it won't fit on the screen. Um, okay, let's do something different than that because it's just too much. Uh, we'll do... You know what? I found this big bag of crocheted stuff the other day. Oh, that's not the right one. I got so much random crochet stuff all over the place. Uh, yes, it's an addiction. What game is it again? Poke Pokemon Unite. Yeah, that's it. That's what it is. We're going to put out a... This dude. I don't... I can't remember... I don't know what I named these things. I think they're kind of like... Um, they're kind of like fish dudes. I don't know what to name it. I, like, it kind of looks like a murloc a little bit. Do you guys remember murlocs from World of Warcraft? I even have like a real shell on a string there for them. Um, I actually have two versions of this. So we have a big one and a little one. This is not a pattern yet, so this will be a pattern eventually. It's kind of a pattern worked off of the hobgoblin pattern, but I did something weird with the lips and the nose and the ears, obviously. Um, but. Yes, anyhow, this is going to be off for you, Johnny. I hope you like him. He's kind of weird looking, but uh, I think he's kind of cute in his own way. If you got a name for him, let me know. We're going to put him right back here. We're actually, we got to do, we got to push up. We got to do some push ups. There we go. There we go. Make way for crochet dudes. Oops, the Master Ball's flying all around. Uh, by the way, if you stick around, we're going to be doing a pattern for this crochet Pokeball at the end of this live stream. So if you want to learn how to crochet it, I will be doing that at the end of the live stream too. Oh my god, it totally looks like the Merman from, from Cabin in the Woods. Yes. Oh, what's everyone's favorite Pokeball? Good question, Philip. I think my favorite Pokeball is the Premier Ball. I love the Premier Ball. Or the, um, I mean, who doesn't love the Sapphire Ball? That's a great ball, too. Or not Sapphire. Safari. Sapphire? Safari? I mean, pretty. They're almost, they're almost the same. Ooh, the Quick Ball. I do. Oh, and the Love Ball with the heart on it. That one's a good one, too. Please show the strawberry. Yes, I will show the strawberry, Kelly. So, this is what you missed last week, Johnny, is we made a strawberry cat, which we named... Uh, uh, Berissimo Pa Berry. That's what, that's what, the, that's what, uh, we decided to name it. It's very cute. Check them out. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa, why does it have white on it? What is it? Huh. got like dusty I don't know how that happened it must have fallen in something that's weird I hope there's nothing in there that's like dusty oh there we go cleaned it up uh, Barissimo Pawberry is what we call it uh, and it's actually also got a squeaker in it <laughs> so cute <laughs> yeah I like this one I like it a lot it's just so Kawaii. <laughs> Very kawaii. Totomo kawaii desu. Ne? <laughs> All right, let's keep let's let's finish this head up. I have been slacking. Slacking. Talking to you guys. Gosh, you're so distracting, gee whiz. Gee whiz, so distracting. Get that out of here. Someone's doing a, someone's being a, we're going to go ahead and remove that. And I think I can report him too. Oh, 
Boom. There we go. Okay. My dog would destroy that. Hi, Kawaii ne? <laughs> Lena. Oh, cool! You made a strawberry girl. Strawberry girl. Abby, welcome to the chat. Uh, we are crocheting Pokemon. Uh, it is Pokemon Day, so we're crocheting. Right now, I'm crocheting Bulbasaur, uh, and then later we're gonna crochet a Pokeball. I was gonna maybe make a uh, a different Pokemon, but I don't know if I'm gonna get the chance to now, because we've already been going for a while. Um, oh, Phil, Philip asks, uh, what was my first starter Pokemon? My first starter Pokemon was Bulbasaur, actually. I, I'm pretty sure Bulbasaur was. I really like Bulbasaur. He is um, one of my favorite starter Pokemon. Although I think Cyndaquil, Cyndaquil is really cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so is Rowlet. Honestly, they've been doing a great job. Oh, and Turtwig. I really like the grass types. Uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of the grass type starters personally. How about you guys? What's your guys' favorite starters? What's the not for alligator? Um, what's the one that starts for alligator? Um, like evolves eventually into for alligator. Uh, I like that one a lot. Oh, there's just so many. And oh, by the way, someone said, did you see the? Um, Someone asked, did I see the, the new starters for the new Pokemon? I did. I like I like the fire type. It looks so weird. I'm really, really excited about the fire type. The grass type is really cute, but it kind of just looks like the the same cat from, uh, like the fire type cat from, uh, from, I can't remember what, like the, the one that it evolves into um, Incineroar. You know what I'm talking about? Toted Isle, that's the one that I was looking for. Ooh, Piplup is a great answer. Chespin, yes. Chess. Man, there's a lot of starter Pokemon. It's kind of crazy, right? Oh, you named it Murgle. Thank you for naming it, uh, Johnny. Moss Kitty, yes. Um, what's the next live stream gonna be? Let me look right now, Re. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're not doing a live stream next week because I'm doing Stitches West, uh, which um, I saw that uh, Jasmine asked about stitches. I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second, but let me look at my calendar right now to see, because I do have the next one prepped. I just can't remember when, when it is, but we're taking off a week because stitches is going to be on that day. Yes, so... Oh boy, I messed that up. There we go. Uh, the next live stream is going to be... Oh, it's actually going to be for the Reversible Frog. So if you sign up for the Pro Kit today, you'll get the kit mailed to you in time to for the next live stream. So sign up for a Club Crochet Pro Kit, uh, Pro Membership right now. It's only $15 for your first uh, kit. And uh, yeah, next month's kit is gonna be for that reversible frog that I was showing earlier. Here it is again. Bloop, bloop. And then it, you can change it into this one. So this is gonna be next month's kit. If you sign up today, uh, like literally today's the last day to sign up for it. You'll get it in time for our next live stream crochet along, which is going to be on March 13th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But uh, March 13th is also daylight savings time. So just giving you that heads up. So I don't know what time it's going to. I don't remember if it's if we're going forward or back. But it's one of them. It's definitely going to be one of them. The duck Pokemon with the hat is gonna. Oh, really? Oh, I'm surprised. I want to see what they evolve into really bad. I, I yeah, I really want to do that. Lena, you totally got this. Um, Frankie, do I ship outside of the U.S.? I absolutely do. We do. Um, you live in Canada. Yep, we can ship to you. Uh, we can either do the pro kits or you can buy a kit and we can ship it that way as well. Um, look at that face. That is a good bubble sword. Now I'm not gonna add the dark green yet because I think I'm gonna put it all together first and then I'm gonna add the dark green so I can like choose which, where I wanna add it. By the way, this is all the dark green that I have left. I'm almost out. So I have to, I have to get some more. 
Uh, but we got the head made. We got the body made. Or, I mean, we got the legs made. I think the only thing we need to make left is the body, which is pretty cool, actually. That's that's great. Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. I am just a little dude. Okay. Togepi. Oh, Togepi is cute. Togepi could have totally been a starter Pokemon. I mean, I guess technically Eevee was a starter Pokemon because of Let's Go Pokemon and Eevee. I didn't love... I didn't hate it. I mean, it was like Pokemon Kanto and stuff, so I didn't hate it. But it wasn't my favorite one, I don't think. Okay. Leja, do I ship to Europe? I do ship to Europe. Yes, I do. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely, lutely, I ship to Europe. Anywhere. Well, almost anywhere. Lena, you got this, Lena. Um, okay. How many, by the way, how many giveaways are we doing so far? Is it two? Three? How many giveaways? Almost three. Only 29 more likes and we'll do a third Pokeball giveaway. This is wild. And if this video gets 350 likes, we're going to do another giveaway during the uh, Reversible Frog live stream too. Okay. Ree says, should I crochet a squid or a fungaloid? I say you crochet. I mean, you'll finish a squid before you finish a fungaloid, but you'll have more fun crocheting a fungaloid than you will crocheting a squid. So there's your answer. Sir Prograde just watched Encanto this morning. Oh my gosh. Not a tech about Bruno, no, no. Uh... I loved Encanto. That was a really, really good movie. I'm very excited about the new um, Turning Red. I think that's what it's called. It's like another, it's the next Pixar movie. And it's really, <laughs> Kelly said that they've watched Encanto twice, almost three times. Now, does that mean that you've watched it twice three times, which means you've watched it six times? Or do you mean that you've watched it twice, almost thrice? <laughs> I've watched it twice. Almost three times, though. I've almost watched it twice, three times. One, two, three. So I'm making the body now. And the body's kind of weird because you kind of make it into an oval shape a little bit in the beginning. But it's going to be... It's pretty It's pretty cool. By the way, hey, Philip, how is your, uh, your Earth Day crochet along uh, pattern going? So it, we're doing another Earth Day crochet along this month, or this year, in April. April 22nd is when it's going to start. Um, I don't know if you knew about it last year, but he, me and Philip and uh, another artist called uh, Lemon Yarn Creations, uh, we all did a different um, endangered creature. We did a pattern for endangered creature, and if you donate to the World Wildlife Fund, you get that pattern um, as like a thank you for donating. Uh, so it's like a it's like a charity event basically, and we're doing it again this year with even more people. So it's still going to be Philip, Lemon Yarn Creations, and me, and then we also have two other artists coming in to do other patterns. Uh, and I'm not going to say what Philip's pattern is, but Philip has a very cool crochet pattern uh, coming out. I'm very excited about it, and I'm very curious of how it's going. I hope it's going well. I'm super excited. I haven't put much work into mine at all which is a problem because mine is going to be a little complicated so i need to start working on it because mine's mine's gonna have fuzzy yarn and i'm like Ugh. <laughs> fuzzy yarn is tough oh dope cool very cool yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil the surprise but uh phillips is what i'm most excited to crochet <laughs> just because of what it is i'm like what how Ooh. Very exciting. Tasha, bye. Thanks for joining, Tasha. Can I do a tiger? You know who can do a tiger and who does do a really good tiger is Philip, actually. Um, I can do a tiger. I'm going to probably do one of these Bonimal versions. Of I like the look of it. Crumbs. Did we just lag? Yeah, we did. Okay, how we doing? We still there? We live? This time we're going to say... Comment with a 
Um, comment with a taco. Actually, a shrimp is fine. A taco or a shrimp. Kelly already said shrimp, so I'm guessing shrimp is good. But <laughs> just... Well, here we go. Ready? It's going to just be flooded with shrimp tacos. Yum. Ooh, and you got to love a shrimp taco. Those are those are good. It froze at me drinking coffee. Boo. One, two, three. <laughs> or gosh, I'll... Now all I want to do is eat a taco. One, two, three, four. I haven't, did I eat breakfast? I did, I had, actually I had a, a bagel. We still alive? Yeah, we're still alive. We're kicking. We're still cruising and kicking, I believe. Um, okay, so we are making the, I'm making the body right now and I'm making the legs uh which is nice because we're just need to do bobble stitch for the back legs it's very makes it a lot easier one two three, and four. Oh, you know what actually also i don't know if he's still here but philip also has this really cute pattern for um what's that what's the pokemon um it's like a little grub it's like a little snow snowy snowy bug it's got like little spikes everywhere. It's really cute. I like that one. Um, Lauren, do I have any tips on selling amigurumi at a fair? Yes, I do. First tip is do not undersell yourself. People are going to act like you should be selling your stuff for cheaper than it is. It doesn't matter how much you sell it for. If you sell it for 10 bucks, they're still gonna be like $10. And you're gonna be like, I spent three hours working on this, okay? So don't sell it for $10. Sell your stuff so that you, at the very, very least, make minimum wage. At the least. That is tip number one that you absolutely should listen to. Philip also, Philip in the chat, let us know what your tips are as well because Philip also sells Amigurumi at Boots. Um, but that is the biggest one for me is like, don't undersell yourself. People are gonna want you to undersell yourself. Don't listen to them. Um, Tip number two, get get Square or something. Get something so that you can accept credit cards. Even like Venmo is great. Uh, that's easy. Um, hydrate. I know that's a funny tip, but seriously, you get, you'll get you get really tired and you'll realize that you haven't been drinking any water all day. So just keep it in mind. Hydrate. Uh, don't overdo it. Um, stay behind a table. Don't go out in front of a table. Uh, those are pretty good tips, I think. Yeah, don't let the Karens bully you for a discount. Yeah, you, you don't need to give a discount, honestly. You, you're fine. Um, make a little, uh, you could take, um, custom orders, too, for, like, double the price that it costs there. You could be like, hey, you know, if you're interested, I do custom orders or something, but I charge more. Have a friend, yes, what Sir Pro Gray said. Have a friend help you because eventually you're going to need to go to the bathroom or get some food or whatever. Good tip, good tip. Um, yeah, those are, those are, I think, some good starter tips. Uh, but yeah, Jasmine was asking about my booth that's going to be next, um, next week, starting on Thursday. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm doing Stitches West, which is a big yarn convention uh, in California. And uh, we're going to be selling... I don't think I'm going to be selling any actual things that I've crocheted. It's going to be mostly, like, crochet kits, crochet tutorials, uh, and just getting, like, my name out there and and talk about, like, hey, you should learn how to crochet. I'm, I'm basically going to try to convince a bunch of people that knit to learn how to crochet. <laughs> Uh, but it should be a lot of fun. I'm very, very excited. I'm only very nervous, too. Only very nervous, though. But I think it'll sh it should be pretty fun. Uh, hopefully I see someone there from a chat or from a live stream. That would be pretty cool. Um, obviously, don't go out of your way to go just to see me. But uh, if you happen to be in the area and you want to go to a yarn convention, it's sure to be fun. 
But yeah. Treetop. Oh! Oh! What a terrible confession confession to make. Treetop says that during these live streams, they've been... Threw up a little bit in my mouth. You Knitting? Ew. Not here. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm fine with that. Ah, it's fine. A girl of the girl of my dreams knits, and that's just the way it's gonna be. That's just the way it's gonna be. It is a very cool and supportive community. Yes, I agree. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get to know everybody around you because they're as nervous as you are probably, <laughs> and also just like everybody's really nice. You, I mean, if people aren't nice, then don't hang out with them. But mostly, everybody's really nice. Dude, Jasmine, you're gonna be going? I'm gonna bring, I'll bring you something special, Jasmine. I'll bring something just for you. Jasmine, you actually can. Um, that's really cool. <laughs> uh, what comes in the pro kits? Uh, yeah, Frankie says, what comes in the club crochet pro kits? Uh, I don't need crochet hooks. Yeah, no hooks. Uh, hooks don't come in the club crochet pro kits unless you need a hook. Um, uh, what comes in the pro kits is everything that you need to make whatever we're making. So for this one, for example, for next month's Club Crochet Pro Kit, it comes with uh, all the yarn. So it comes, it actually comes with way more yarn than you need just in case like you mess up or something. So I add extra yarn in there, uh, which you actually will be able to use this time. If you have extra yarn, you can use it for a little miniature frog, which will be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so it comes with, this month's kit comes with uh, worsted weight wool yarn. Um, it's actually like super high quality wool too. I, I did not skimp on the wool. <laughs> I kind of like, I kind of like overspent on it, which is okay. Like whatever, it's just for, it's just for you guys anyhow, so it's fine. So it comes with our main color, which is green and our secondary color red. And then it also comes with this cotton yarn for the tongue. So it comes with like pink and black cotton yarn. It comes with stuffing of course, and then uh, eight millimeter safety eyes. Uh, obviously it comes with the tutorial. And then it comes with the video tutorial. And then uh, sometimes when it's a little bit less of a kit. So like this one's a pretty big crochet kit because we're making something like actually pretty big and the yarn is very high quality. But sometimes when it's a little bit smaller of a crochet kit, I add other things like stickers or pins to it to make it a little bit more like, thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Stuff like that. So I always try to add a little something extra to it. A little, I'm trying to make it a little bit more than just a regular old crochet kit. Um, okay, so one, two, three. Okay, we gotta, oh, I think Jules is home. Four, five. She went to a singing, uh, to, to like, she, a friend or someone she met once wants her to sing on an album, so she went to go uh, talk to her about stuff, about singing things. Okay, I think we're almost done with this round and we are almost done with four, five, six. So let me count my stitches, but I think we only have one more round to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. So it's gonna. This is just gonna sew on like that. Really? Well, I mean, it's one longer, but that feels. Doesn't that feel wrong? Come on. Hold on. I want to see. I want to see. What does this look like? Oh, okay. 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 All right. All right. Past Lou. All right, past Lewis. Hey, Alice. Oh, hey, Juala. Who's Ju who's Jula? -wa? <laughs> oh, Jules. Hey, Jules. <laughs> Juala. Um, what color yarn comes in your kit? I've been really interested in crocheting recently. It depends on what crochet kit you get, obviously, antlers. Uh, this next Club Crochet Pro kit comes with uh, white green and red to make a uh, reversible frog. But the month after that is gonna be our um, Bonimals crochet kit. And that one's gonna come with like 
seven different colors, I think, six or seven different colors. It's, it's going to be a pretty big one, honestly, uh, in little magnets and stuff. That one's going to be... I'm very excited. I'm super excited for April 1st, and I'm not going to tell you why, but I do have something prepared for April 1st that I think you guys are going to like. Yes! Lena, Lena finished step one of making a strawberry. Step one. What color yarn does the Crocheting 101 come with? Good question. Um, the Crocheting 101 comes with... Uh, uh, the practice yarn, I think, is, like, random. So it's never going to be a bad color, honestly. Like, there's it, there's not going to be any... Um, like brown, It's not going to be brown or black or, or color that's hard to crochet with, basically. But the test yarn is, is a random color. And then the... Um, uh, yes, it is. It is April Fool's related antler. Um, and the, uh, the crub, the crocheting 101 deluxe kit comes with the yarn to make a beanie. And you can make a request if you want a specific color for the beanie. Uh, but the colors that it does come with are, um, the club crochet colors. So there's uh, purple, there's a teal, there's pink. Um, I think there's a blue and, uh, there's gray. Uh, so those are the beanie colors that you can make. But obviously you can just like request if you have like a specific color in mind that you're like, hey, do you have this one? Just reach out. Ask. Uh, I'd be happy to to help and uh, provide any, you know, yeah, to help out. OK, so slip stitch in this stitch right here and then we're going to cut the yarn. We're going to sew this onto the head eventually. But we actually already have all of our pieces crocheted. Now we just need to sew on all of the body parts. Um, I might, I, I, you know what, I'm going to sew on the, the bulb first like that, but the rest of the body parts, I think I might wait to sew on after the head is sewn onto it. You know what Brian asks, um, hold on. Brian asks, what brand of cotton yarn do I use? I always find cotton to be scratchy. So, uh, I use a lot of different kinds of cotton brands as long as I find that they work together. Uh, my favorite cotton brand, I think, is Lily Sugar and Cream, uh, just because there's so much variety, it's relatively cheap. Um, but I also like using, there's a Lion brand, 100% cotton, that I like a lot. Um, Bernat has 100% cotton. It's a little bit scratchy, but they have colors that um, Lily Sugar and Cream and Lion brand don't always have that I like. Uh, there's also milk cotton, which is a little weird, but it's very soft. So if you want to try doing that, um, what's really important is that the that it's spun enough. So like, see how much that's spun? Uh, you can't really see, but like sometimes they don't spin it enough, or they don't add enough little like um, ply. I think it's called ply. I'm not really totally sure. If Jules was here, she'd be able to help. But like yarn is split. You know, it's got like like so many of these little pieces together. Like there's this one's got four different little strands of yarn and then that's all twisted together so sometimes they only do like two or three and if it's two or three it's like it's less strong it's less it just doesn't hold its shape as well so things like that are what you want to look for with your cotton yarn um yeah what what, what was i grabbing what was i doing what who am i where am i what year is it you need to grab some stuffing that's what it was um where do I ship? You live in South America. I don't know if you ship here. I probably do ship there. Uh, anywhere that I can ship to from the United States, uh, we do ship to. So, I mean, I, I don't ship to North Korea, but <laughs> but I ship to, like, almost everywhere else. Uh, it, sometimes it takes longer to get to other places, and it costs more uh, for, you know, shipping changes cost, but... I think I pro I probably do ship like if you're in like Honduras, it might take a while to get there, but I can ship to Honduras. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get it to you. Pretty sure, but you know who knows? It's changed, different thing. All right, we want to go right in the center of the back. That looks like the center. Actually, that looks like the center. Yeah, yeah. Some brands of cotton are super scratchy. 
I do agree. Especially, like, sometimes they don't wash it right or something. Like, they put, like, some kind of filament on the outside and then they don't wash it well. And then that, like, filament's still there. I have some brand some balls of yarn that I'm like, I can't use this. It hurts. It squeaks and it hurts and I hate it. Um, yeah, so I totally get that. I think we want to start... Okay, so we're sewing on the bulb here. I am going to have to add some detail to the bulb eventually. The bulb. Um, let's see. I just want to get it to the right. I just want to sew on all the pieces in the right spots, you know? Do, 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 do. See what this looks like for a sec. Sewing pieces together, the bane of a crocheter's existence. Actually, we're gonna go with this one right here. How are we looking? I'm on screen, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. Oh hey, I uh we got a new club crochet pro member. Actually, do we get no cat? Oh, Frankie. Wait, cat. Yes, right there. There, it says right there, cat kit. Oh, that was earlier in the morning. Never mind. Never mind. I got confused. I got confused. Uh, Llama plays. How do you enter the giveaway? That's right. We're doing a giveaway. Um, if you want to enter the giveaway, all you got to do is use the link in the description of this video. Uh, I'm giving away a Pokeball per 100 likes of this video. So every time it gets another 100 likes, we do, we'll do another giveaway for a Pokeball. Um, and all you got to do in the form is uh, put in your name, address, or not, you don't need your address, your name and email. And then um, what is uh, your favorite Pokemon? That's the secret code. Uh, okay, wait. I need to I need to take a gander at this here. Let me see here. Cuz I don't I don't want to sew this on incorrectly. You know? We need to make sure that we have See like I think it should have gone down there. So I think I'm going to undo this. Yes, these go. I think we're going to go out to that. We hit 300. Okay, we're doing three Pokeball giveaways. I don't think we're gonna get to four Pokeball giveaways in this live stream, but who knows? This video gets to 400, we'll do another one. Heck, you know what? If this video gets to 400, we'll up it. We'll like do a Master Ball or, or a Great Ball giveaway. Something to catch, something that makes it a little easier to catch a Legendary. What's my favorite animal? Um, what's my favorite animal or what is my spirit animal? Because those are very different answers. Um, my favorite animal, I really like kangaroos a lot. Um, I really like, I, I specifically I like wallabies a lot. Um, I like, uh, man, I like so many different animals. Um, I like, oh, lemurs. I love lemurs. Um, I have got an affliction for lemurs. I, I just I just think they're so freaking cute. They're like cat monkeys. Gosh, they're cute. Um, and the the zoo near me has a bunch of lemurs on exhibit, and they're just so cute, and I love them. Uh, so I think lemurs, specifically a red ruffed lemur, might be my favorite of the lemurs. Oh, I th yeah, I think that's my favorite lemur because they're really fuzzy. Uh, my spirit animal is used to be a hummingbird a long time ago in a galaxy far far away i was a hummingbird of a person um just because i move fast and i uh drink a lot of of, of nectar <laughs> of juice um but recently i have found that i am much more of a raccoon of a person than a hummingbird i stay up really late i eat a lot of junk food I, uh, it's really just trash in general. Um, <laughs> I'm sneaky, <laughs> determined. Family's very important to me. 
Mostly trash, though. Mostly I just love trash. <laughs> Not really. Uh, but yeah, I think I think probably a, uh, my spirit animal is probably a raccoon. Bye, Lauren. Thanks for joining. How much red yarn do you think you're going... You're going to need to your giant strawberry tutorial. I'll tell you exactly how much, because um, I have it written down. One second. Uh, yardage. I've got this. I've got this Google Doc that I keep with all the yardage for everything that I make, which is pretty nice. Usually, it's not a problem because sometimes, like you know, it's usually not that much. But um, for red yarn, you're going to need around 150 feet. Um, that actually is probably more than you need. But around 150 feet is how many, uh, how much, how much yarn you're gonna need for that. Okay, how, what, how, where are we at here? We got to do. We got, oh, we only have two more. Okay, so we gotta, we'll, we'll go up to this. Yeah, Philip is as as addicted to. Um, Pokemon Unite as I am to Super Smash Brothers, I think. Uh, actually, that's not true. I play Super Smash Brothers, I think, more than you play Pokemon Unite, <laughs> which is a problem for me. <laughs> I have an issue with playing Pokemon Smash Brothers, or Super Smash Brothers, way too much. Because uh, <laughs> I drink a lot of nectar. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube analyst. I really mean it. I mean, I drink a lot of juice. I don't mean alcohol. I don't drink very much alcohol at all. I, like, never drink alcohol. I don't like alcohol very much. I drink beer sometimes, but not, like, I definitely don't like heavy or hard alcohol. I'm a, I'm adverse. I have an adverse reaction. <laughs> Let's go with that. No, but seriously, I don't, I just don't, I just don't drink much. Alcohol. Um, okay, so we got the bulb sewn on. I am going to have to add some detail to this bulb. I think I'll probably do that a little later. Did I mess up? Nah, whatever. If I did, whatever. Okay, so... Let me stuff this up right here. I'm just using the excess yarn here to stuff into our body a little bit. Keep it in... Keep it a little stiff bit. I'm a little stuffed up right now. And we're gonna put the head, so now we're gonna sew the head onto the body. And then I think I'm gonna sew the legs onto the body after that. So that I can make sure they're exactly where I want them to be. Cause they're gonna be like that. And then we just need to uh, add the spots and some detail to the bulb and then we'll crochet a Pokeball. Okay, so let's start by getting this head started to be started. Steered. Started to be sewn on. Plant zoo! And you got lemurs? I love them. Gotta love lemurs. Jasmine. <laughs> you know, I'm a Cali boy. Well, you know. Um, what did Revla, Re, why do the red ruffed lemurs have to be critically endangered? Because they only live in one spot, Madagascar, and it is the place where uh, a lot um, of, of people are like living now. And it's a very tiny island. And that's the only place that red rough lemurs live. That's the only place where any lemurs live. So, basically, their habitat is screwed. And, uh, yeah, they they have a very, very difficult time living there. So, that are, that are why red rough lemurs are endangered. Maybe I should crochet red rough lemur for my pattern. For my endangered species. It would work with the yarn that I'm using. I might actually end up doing that. Um... I, I don't know if all lemurs are endangered or not, but I do know that a lot of them are because of what I just said. It's just so hard for them not to be. I mean, like, there's no room for them. How could they, you know, how, 
how do you expect them to survive when there's like they barely have any land? Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, is it does alcohol taste bad or funny? Taste bad? Yeah. Uh, alcohol does not taste great. <laughs> it's a, I mean, a, after you have some alcohol, it doesn't taste that bad, but it, you know, doesn't taste great. <laughs> corgi Queen says their favorite animal is a corgi. You can tell by their user and profile pic. Have you crocheted the reversible corgi yet, Corgi Queen? He's very cute. You totally should if you haven't yet. Don't let me forget to stuff this neck or the body up. I'm going to do it in a little bit, but seriously, like, if I forget to stuff the body up, we will have a problem. So, don't let me forget that. It's your fault if I forget. <laughs> yeah, black and white, pretty much any rough lemurs are, are critically, are not doing, not doing hot. Um, let's count my stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so one, two, three. Hmm. Okay. We'll just start working our way around now. I haven't had the time. I get that. It's a pretty big pattern too, so I get why you if you haven't had the time. <clears throat> All right. Stuff this. Let's stuff it up. Elena's back. Welcome back, Elena. That th Thank you, Alice. Oh, it's gonna look so cute. Once I have the arms on like this, like, look at that. Oh, wait, you, you get the idea, right? It's gonna be like this. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cute. So tiny, tiniest Bulbasaur in all the land. We're definitely gonna have to name this Bulbasaur eventually. So we'll have to start taking suggestions for names soon. I'll probably, I'll put a, um, I'll make like a Google sheet or something after I finish this and before I start the Pokeball stuff. Um, let's count our stitches. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One more. One, two, three, four. Okay, this should work. Get this stuffed up enough. I'm gonna add just a little bit of stuffing before I before I can't no more. Little bitty Bulbasaur being so cute. Again, to enter the giveaway, if you haven't yet, enter the giveaway. All you have to do is go to the Google form that is linked in the bio and tell me what your favorite Pokemon is. That is the secret code. And I'm going to be giving away Pokeballs to anybody, uh, to, to random people. Uh, and... A Pokeball per 100 likes. And we already have 300 likes. That means that we're going to do 300 Pokeballs. If this video gets to 400 likes in this video, I'll do a giveaway. The last giveaway will be for a Master Ball. Um, but if this video gets 400 likes after this video, I'll do another giveaway in the next live stream, which is going to be on, um, on March 13th for a reversible, our reversible frog. Pretty good, that's pretty good around there. A armless Bulbasaur, armless spotless Bulbasaur.
Oh, Ed, thank you so much. Thank you for being a fan and thank you for learning to crochet and using my tutorials for that. I, I really appreciate it, Ed. Thank you. Coffee Crochet, thank you for posting that. Giveaway will be announced at the end of this live stream, but I will be emailing all the winners too. So you don't have to stick around if you don't want to. I'll still notify you if you won. Um, okay, so now I'm adding legs. I keep getting yarn stuck in between my toes and I hate it. It feels so weird. <laughs> Gotta clean up. Why Kent? Why, why do you want to name it Kent, uh, Kelly? Okay, we're just going to do it like that. Am I missing something? Who knows? So we're going to add the arm just like that. I think it's only got five stitches to work with. So I need to count my stitches here. We're going to go one, two. No. Let's see. Okay, this actually might work. This, this, this should work. Just go up a stitch. You can't get more perfect than Kent! <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are weirdos. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Who's excited for a quick crochet Pokeball pattern too? I'm excited for that. I am so proud of that crochet pattern, by the way. It's a very, very easy crochet Pokeball. I'm going to cut this stick. It's just, look at how, it's just too long. So we're going to cut it a little shorter, like right to there. I'm going to ruin my scissors a little bit. First, I need to put a score in it. This is how I cut sticks, by the way. I first score it like this by just putting my scissors in place and then twisting the thing that I'm cutting to just score it in, in one spot so that when I break it, it'll break exactly right there. See? Easy enough. Then you don't have to actually like ruin your scissors to, to uh, do that. But now I have a little tinier stuffing stick, which is nice. Bobzilla! That's a good name, actually. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good name. Bulbzilla. Right here. And then out in where our first stitch is. And then we're just going to double knot that together. Lena, I have a good time talking with you as well. Thank you so much for joining. We'll see you next uh, next live stream if you're able to join. Okay, we just need one more leg to help him stand up, but that's a pretty good spot for our first leg, I think. Okay. So what are you guys up to this week? Anybody got anything really cool planned this week? Anybody uh, anybody having a child this week? You know, big plans like that. <laughs> anybody uh, 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 fighting a dinosaur this week? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? It's a crazy world out there. Lots of dinosaurs.
mini Bulbasaur. Why are there so many L names? There's dozens of us. I don't know. I'm an L. And I don't mean loser. Or do I? Who knows? Llama plays. It's your birthday tomorrow. Oh my gosh! Happy almost birthday. Happy almost birthday. Happy almost birthday. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, Llama. Oh, I almost forgot to stuff this leg up. See, you weren't you didn't warn me. Oh, congrats to uh, your your brother, Kelly. Well, not so Kelly. Kelly, not so Kelly. Whoa, that sounds like a lot of work, says he. Says he says they have to make their son a cartoon character costume for tomorrow. What cartoon character? That sounds like a lot of work. And I wish you the best. Llama plays turn 13 tomorrow. Happy almost 13th birthday. So do I remember my 13th birthday? I don't think I do remember my 13th birthday. I remember my 18th birthday. On my 18th birthday, uh, I, my mom made me cheesecake because it's my it was my favorite uh, thing to eat, my favorite dessert. And I ate so much cheesecake, but I got food poisoning. I don't think it was from the cheesecake, but I threw up so much cheesecake on my 18th birthday at night no drinking swear to god i wasn't drunk i didn't drink or anything i just got food poisoning on my birthday and spent the whole night throwing up it was terrible i remember it very well <laughs> and i did not like it <laughs> all right legs are sewn on head is sewn on Next, we just need to add some detail. But look at that. He stands. He's adorable. He's very tiny. The littlest, bittiest Bulbasaur. And uh, now we just need to add spots. Let's look up pictures of Bulbasaur with spots and stuff. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Images. Perfect. Ooh. My phone buzzed. All right. This is easy. We'll just do that. You know, the pictures have it more of a turquoise than a dark green. So I'm going to let you guys decide. Do we want to use this color or... Or... Do we want to use... This color for the spots. What do you think? Do we want a more turquoise spots or a dark green spots? Let me know in the uh, in the chat right now. Teal or dark green? Teal or dark green? Teal or dark green? Teal or dark green? Jasmine, dude, bring your bring your uh your friend code to stitches. We'll we'll exchange friend codes. Vol turquoise. Okay, so we got two turquoise, three turquoise, one dark green. Four. Looks to me like we're getting a lot more turquoise teal. We're doing turquoise. We're doing teal turquoise. I think. Like so many more. Yeah, turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. Yeah, teal, teal, turquoise. Okay, cool, perfect. Turquoise, turquoise. Oh yeah, man. There's like four people that said dark green. Everybody else said turquoise. The chat has spoken. And so we must. We must use turquoise. Um, I'm going to start by doing the head and then I'm gonna do the body separate now. I wasn't gonna do that, but now I am because I am a liar. <laughs> We're gonna start with one spot at the top of his head. Or her head. It might be a... It, I don't know if it's a girl or boy, actually. What do you guys think? Is this looking... 
this looking like a gal Bulbasaur or a dude Bulbasaur? Who knows? I actually think I'm just gonna go a few times on this. I was gonna like try to like do something fancy, but I think I'm just gonna, I mean, it's still gonna be a little fancy, but I won't do the, it, I think this is gonna be a lot easier if I just keep going through the same stitch and it'll look more clean. Because I was going to try to do this triangle shape, but I realized that it's probably going to already do that triangle shape anyhow, so I'm just going to keep it going like that. And then we'll do teal one another one over here. Oh, yeah, you, wait, we need to do a, a poll. Yeah, good. Thank you, Kelly. You're right. We do need to do a poll for the name. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to put this frog here. Sign up for a pro kit. <laughs> Hold on. Let me do that Google sheet real quick. Google Sheets. By the way, I'm right here. I just need a duck. Because my... My things... My... Yeah, you get it. Name. The Bulbasaur. Okay, one per person. I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna name. I'm gonna put my the name, my vote for name as. Um, G Gorp. <laughs> Terrible name. Gorp. Okay. Hold on. Anyone with the link? Okay. Boom. Okay, I put it in the chat. Name Bulbasaur. I it, let me know if that link works. And I'm I'll just choose my favorite one. Like I the, no, there's not gonna be any fa like uh, favoritism of who enters it. I'm just gonna choose my favorite name. So. You you choose whatever you think a good name would be. And I'll let you know if you're right. <laughs> see, do we like that? No, I don't like where that one went. We're going to undo that. We're gonna undo this one. Amber's kids just say Baba. Baba. Oh yeah, people are definitely putting in names. Sprout, Nug. Sprout is a cute name. <clears throat> and and we'll do a poll. Actually, I'm gonna choose my four favorite, and then you guys can choose out of that four. I think that's I think that sounds like a fair move. Brussels is a great name. Because it's like Brussels sprout. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's do one more spot here. On the forehead. Well, we're not going to do one more spot. I'm just going to, like, make this spot a little bit more. A little bit thicker. Like that. And we'll just exit. Actually, maybe we'll do a secret one. This is just for... Well, no. No, no, no. We got, we got other spots we can put. Sprout's a good name. That's... Look at how... Guys... Come on, look at that. That's good. That's a good. 
Well, that's a, that is what we call good. I'm liking it. We got <laughs> someone said Zoe. I see your I see your name. Zoe said that we should name this Bulbasaur Pikachu. Ha ha, Zoe. Very funny. <laughs> it actually is funny. It actually totally is funny. Gonna shove that. Gonna shove that that knot back in there. There we go. All right. Next, we want to add uh, the body spots. Body spots. I'm gonna do a pretty big spot right here. I think on the side. Whoop. A lot of a lot of turquoise. Maybe probably too much turquoise, but that's okay. Uh. Oh my gosh, one could be Brussels and one could be Sprout. <laughs> Spreckles! Well, that's a good name. Oh, Speckles. Speckles. Spreckles and Speckles are both actually pretty good names. I, you know what? Iversaur would have been cool. I don't think we'll have enough time to make Ivasaur in this live stream, but Ivasaur would be a cool one to make. You totally could with this pattern. I think I have made an Ivasaur before, but I don't have it anymore. Um, okay, now we want to add some on the arms. We're just going and embroidering all around. Just spots. Spots on the body. Kent. <laughs> name it Kent! His name shall be Kent. Wow. Wow. Where are we at, by the way, with the... with the? Wow, there's actually not very many names on there. People. People. Alright, what's our... Um, how's our giveaway thing going? Cool, cool. How many likes we got? Because we're going to do... Every 100 likes, we're doing another... 321! 80 more likes, and we'll do another... We'll do a, another giveaway on this video. We're already doing three, though. Three Pokeballs. If it gets to 400 in this video, like, while we're live, we'll do uh, a Master Ball giveaway. Okay, so I think that's good for the leg ones and then we want to add let's add one we need some on the other leg but i think we'll add the other leg last let's go across and add our spots over here on this side you know um by the way good choice on the teal really i think teal uh was definitely the right option there it just i just think it looks good We're gonna do a bigger spot right here first. Um, novelty, novelty doesn't know how to add a name. So one second, I'll put the link again in the chat. All you have to do is go to this. Boom, put it in the chat again. All you need to do is go to that link and then you can suggest a name. That's it. And the format, just, just put in a name, just, just, like choose one of those empty boxes and put in a name you can put in your name too if you want and that way i can say like this is from this person but you don't have to
Oh, it won't let you type it? Hmm. I'm gonna wait a sec to see. <laughs> Elena's crochet corner says, like this video or she's gonna take your crochet hook. You better like this video or she's gonna take your crochet hook. Oh, God. Swear to Gorb. I swear to Gorb. Don't swear to Gorb. Do another spot right over here. I think we'll just do two two smaller spots on this back here, maybe. So we'll go one. That pretty small one. Uh, try opening it in Safari, novelty. We're gonna, let's give him a butt spot. enough spots on this side or do we want to add actually I think I want one more Just one more spot right over here from here to the back leg like this we'll even just do it like literally one tiny itty bitty spot see how that looks and then we want to add one more spot on this back leg area too That's good. Yeah, I like that. He's got he's got a decent amount of little spots back there. And then I just want to add a little bit of detail to the um, to the bulb here, but then other than that, I think we're gonna be good on our Bulbasaur, and we'll just do a quick. Oh, thank you, Odette. Thank you for for helping out. Okay. Oopsies. Okay. So Bulbasaur is basically done. I just want to add a little bit of detail to this to the bulb itself. The bob, and then um, and then we'll move on. Oh, this frog can move, by the way. How's the stream going, by the way? We got lag. Uh oh. Am I still frozen? Am I still froze? Zen. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> the the taco the taco shrimp is uh is really is really working out for us today, huh? It's, it's, it's being used very often, which is, I mean, it's a problem, but it's also pretty useful, huh? Cool. Okay, so wait, we want, I think I wanna go one, then out, over, yeah. So I'm adding like like leaves to this bulb. See, so I'm adding like just some detail basically to the outside parts. Not right here. And across. 
across. Like that. Just a little, a little bit like of uh, detail. Detail, 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 detail. But there we go. That's it. Let's double knot it. And let's do this quick Pokeball pattern. Really not too tough. It's not going to take very long. But if you want to crochet a Pokeball with me, right now is your chance. All you got to do is get some red yarn, some black yarn, and some white yarn. It doesn't matter what the um, type of yarn is. You can use 100% cotton. That's what I'll be using. You can use wool. You could use acrylic. You could use really whatever kind of yarn you want. You just need all three yarns to be similar, like pretty close to the same. And then you need a crochet hook that'll work with it. But that's all you'll need for it. But look at that Bulbasaur tell me that is not one of the cutest things you've ever seen look at that guy oh my gosh it's so cute oh my god he's so tiny it's a little bulbasaur look at this he, he can sit on my head oh my gosh he's on the back of my hand oh it's so cute i love him I give him a little kiss all right we're gonna put him right there okay so Whoa. What's a Tynamo? What is a Tynamo? Tynamo. Oh, oh, it's like a little itty bitty. Oh my gosh, that is cute. It'd be a really easy one to make, but um, I should make that. But uh, we're not going to do that today. Um, <laughs> we're going to be doing a Pokeball now. Okay, so all you need for this is you need red yarn. You need black yarn and white yarn. We have a lot more white yarn just because that's what I got right now. So all that's all you need. These three colors and a crochet hook, that's it. And a pair of scissors, of course, maybe a needle. Um, I'm gonna go through this pattern one by one. This tutorial, this pattern is gonna be coming out soon. So if you want to like wait for the written pattern and the, the unique video tutorial that I'm gonna make for it, uh, then just hold tight. It will be out very soon. Um, I just don't have it ready yet, but I just thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to do in this video to do that. And then after we're done with this Pokeball, we'll, um, I'll do a, uh, uh, we'll announce the giveaway. So I'm giving you a little bit more time. If this video gets another, let's see, how many likes does it need? Well, it needs like 70 more likes. If we can get to 70 more likes, then we'll do a fourth giveaway for a Master Ball. But otherwise, we're going to do three giveaways for a Pokeball after this. Go enter the giveaway. I'll put the link in the chat right now. All you have to do is um, the, secret, the secret code is put your favorite Pokemon. That's it. You just got to, uh, what is your favorite Pokemon? That's all I want to know. Uh, and I'm going to choose three people at random to send, to actually ship them one of these crochet Pokeballs that I'm making. Um, okay, so, pattern's really easy. All you need to do is start by using your red yarn and making a magic loop. That's it. Real easy start. Just crochet a, start with a magic loop. How am I looking as far as focus goes? Let me, let me, let me see this. I think we need to get a little bit more focus right there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start with a magic loop. And the start is pretty easy. You're just going to single crochet six times into the magic loop. That's it. A uh, really easy start. A lot of our patterns do that. So six single crochets into the magic loop. One, two, three. I'll go kind of slow. Four, five, six. That's it. That's how, that's how you start. Pretty easy. Um, yeah, that's because it's one of those wobbles kits uh, of debt. Okay, I'm going to get to round two in just a second, but now I'm going to do a little rant really quick. Okay, so Adet says, what's something that a starter could try making to get a feel for crocheting? I tried a wobbles kit, which is a crochet kit out there in the market that's just not very good. Um, and I couldn't get a good grasp on the kit. 
That's because they don't really put as much effort as I do into my kits and patterns. So, mm. um, <laughs> a good one to start with. Uh, I really like to start with the octopus pattern because it's very easy. Um, the triceratops is also not too bad of a pattern. Honestly, the um, the strawberry pattern that I just came out with Odette is really good. Uh, it's a great beginner pattern. It's not my tutorial, but it, it is some it, like I do the video, but it is someone else's pattern. But it's a really good beginner pattern. Um, you can find that one at just clubcrochet.com slash berry. Uh, the octopus is just clubcrochet.com slash uh, uh, octopus. Um, that one's pretty good. Uh, yeah, those are the, <laughs> um, yeah, those are, those are my favorite ones. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You already have the yarn for it. All you need is any kind of yarn and a crochet hook to get started. Um, but those ones are very good beginner tutorials, I think. Um, yeah. And obviously Odette, if you get started and you want some more help, come into these live streams. I'm more than happy to help out too. Okay, so, and and it wasn't a horrible decision to buy a Wobbles kit. It's just, it got, you, you know, you got started somewhere. You got to start somewhere, so, yeah. Okay, so now I'm on to round two of our Pokeball. We did six single crochets into the magic loop for round one. For round two, we're doing an increase into each stitch around. So that just means six increases and an increase if you're just starting out crochet means that we're doing two single crochets into one stitch so we're just going to work into that first stitch that we made that's the hardest one to find is the first one but after you find the first one you're good you just want to do an increase into each stitch around i just worked around this tail end just to keep it in place but you don't really need to do that so an increase into each stitch around is going to bring you up from six stitches to 12 stitches so see i'm doing two into each stitch there one two here's the next one there's one and two you see how it's kind of working one two a couple more one two and the last one's going to be right here two single crochets into that one one two so now you have 12 single crochets around for your pokeball pretty easy just like a hacky sack alice it's totally going to be like a hacky sack all right so that's round two pretty easy round three is also pretty easy especially if you've made any amigurumi before now, before i do round three i am going to cut this tail end just to keep it nice and close so we don't need it at all um round three is uh it's going to be a single crochet into the first stitch and then an increase into the next stitch after so one single crochet and then one increase which means two in the same stitch and then you're going to repeat that process six times total so we'll keep doing that single crochet increase single crochet increase all the way around to get to the end of the round and that'll bring you up from 12 stitches to 18 so at the end of this round round three here um you should have 18 stitches yeah I'm just going to keep doing that. We did a single crochet in the first, increase, or two single crochets in the next. Single crochet, increase. Two single crochets in the same stitch. And it repeats. Yes, exactly. Oh, <laughs> your song repeats, sorry. So you should just have 18 stitches by the end of uh, our round three here. And that's actually as big as our... Pokeball is going to get. If you want to make it bigger, you can keep increasing up, but I'm just going to, I like making them relatively small, personally. Okay. All right, so that's going to be the end of round three. I'll wait for just a second and we'll, we'll get back to it. Um, please confirm if you are going to make Tynamo. I'm not going to make Tynamo in this live stream, but I'll try to make Tynamo at a later date, just not in this live stream. Um, I did. I, honestly, I didn't know about Tynamo until right now. That this is a that is a this is a new new thing for me, Tynamo. But I do know the Pokemon that it evolves into. That little uh, like electric eel. I like that one. Okay. Okay. So we did round three. Round four is really easy. Round four is just a single crochet in each stitch around. Nice and easy, 18 stitches total. 
super easy round of just single crochets. So you see how like this is not too tough for a pattern. The next few rounds are a little bit trickier because we're gonna be using half color changes, which are weird. Um, so I will go into detail there. You don't need to do that if you don't want to, but it does make it look a little bit more clean, I've found. Okay. Boom. Boom. I think this is gonna be 14 and 15. Three more. 16, 17, and then this is gonna be our 18th stitch, but I'm gonna halfway finish that single crochet because we're gonna change colors now. So next you wanna grab your black yarn and get it prepped. I'm actually, I'm gonna try zooming in a little bit here to show you this next part because it will get a little weird, a little funky. Let me get it focused. Is that focused? That looks pretty, that looks pretty focused. I'll just try to stay right there. Um, okay, so this next round, we wanna change to black yarn. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your crochet hook. I've got my single crochet like halfway made here. And then I'm gonna take my black yarn and place it in between the two loops on my hook. And then the loop attached to the end there. And I am just gonna pull through with our red yarn and crochet around this black end to keep it in place. Okay, so this next round, we're gonna be doing something that I call the perfect stripe method. This is like my own little method that I use. Um, the first thing we're gonna do, uh, and I found this new, new technique for this actually, so this might be new to a few people here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this red yarn, we're gonna go into the back loop of the next stitch. So right here, you know, cause normally we'd go into both loops like this, but now we're only gonna go into this back one right there and we're gonna do a slip stitch into that back loop. You're gonna take your crochet hook with this red yarn, go into that back loop only, and yarn over, pull through, and then pull through with the loop on the hook like that. Boom. Then we're gonna change over to black. So we wanna take your index finger of your non-dominant hand, put it in between the two colors like this, and just flip our new color black under the old one. Yarn over with black and pull through the loop on the hook for a chain in black. Okay. And that's how you get this next round started. Okay, so this next round, we're gonna crochet into both loops of all the stitches, starting with both loops of the stitch that you just the, the um, worked our slip stitch into. We're actually gonna work into right here. So it's under both loops at the same time. And we're gonna do a single crochet into each stitch all the way around, but you want the top of your loops to be black and the bottom to be red, um, which can be a little tricky. It's not too tough, but it can be a little tricky. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna flip it over so that red is over the black yarn, then go into the next stitch. Our first stitch is gonna be into both loops. So we're gonna go right there like that. We're gonna yarn over with our red yarn. Sorry, I keep getting in and out of focus and then pull it through the loop like that. And then we're gonna switch back over to black to finish and pull through both these loops. So we're gonna switch over like this. So I put my index finger in between the two colors and I flip it under, yarn over with our black yarn and pull through the two colors. One and two, like that. All right, so next, uh, for this rest of this round, we're just gonna keep doing that. So we're gonna switch over to red. See, so every time I do a stitch, I switch back over to the new color I go into the next stitch, yarn over with red and pull it through. Then I switch back over to black. Put my index finger between them, flip under, yarn over and pull through two. And then that's it. Like I'm just gonna do that all the way around into every stitch. There should be 18 of those total. Whoa! Someone bought, geez Louise, this bot isn't, that's a, that's a nasty bot there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead, hide these around this channel and report. And remove, there we go. Done, look at that, done. Knocked it out right away. Okay. Um, what's next? Uh, okay, so now I'm just doing our single crochets. I'm doing half, sing half color changes all the way around. 
And we're gonna do the same thing in the next round, but with white yarn too. Yeah, I booted it. I booted it pretty quick there. <laughs> bots, 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 bots. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the bot come for you? Bot boys, bot boys. <laughs> All right, so we're just uh, continuously crocheting around with these half color changes so that the top of our stitches are gonna be red. I mean black and the bottom are gonna be red. And then in our next round, we're gonna do the same thing, but with white on the top and black on the bottom. This just makes it a really, really clean, like stripe in the center. It can be a little tricky to master this. You can just change after this round to black instead. It's that that also works. But um, I do find that this makes it like a really clean color change. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Get focused again. It's hard to stay in focus in that zoomed in mode. Oh, it was just a bot, Tina, and I just booted them right away. The only, or the biggest problem with these color change method is that you're gonna end up candy caning your yarn. That's what I call this when it keeps twisting around. Um, but it's not gonna be too big of a problem because once we're done with this round, we can just cut the red yarn and pull it all the way out. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so we have two more stitches left. This is one single crochet. This is gonna be our 18th single crochet right here, right there. I'm not gonna finish it because we're gonna need our white yarn for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my white yarn ready. If I can find the end, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna take my white yarn. I'm gonna finish this single crochet by pulling through with our black yarn, like that. And then we can cut this red yarn. And then this is how you fix the candy cane. You just pull the red yarn out. You hold the black yarn in place and you just pull the red yarn from the base of it and it just pulls it all out. So I'm at the very bottom of our red yarn there. Hold it in place and just keep pulling the red yarn out. And it undoes it. Undoes the mess. Okay. So now we got black and white yarn and this next round is gonna be a little different than, than this last round. We are gonna be doing the half color changes. So we wanna start by um, working into Oh, Jane donated. Dude, thank you for donating again. We're gonna put out for Jane. Put out the piglet on top of the frog. This is for you, Jane. Our pig that goes on top of our frog. Thank you for your donation. I super duper appreciate it. Thank you guys for letting me know also. I totally missed it. Um. Okay. Jimbo ate the white, yeah. Um, okay, so next uh, we are on this next round and all you need to do, the hard part is getting it started because it looks like you have this like really big gap here, but what you need to do is just skip that big gap and slip stitch into the back loop of that first uh, black double or black single crochet that you made, just the back one only. So just like how you did the last round, you just go into the back loop, slip stitch with our black yarn Boom, boom. Then chain one using your white yarn. So first you need to flip the white yarn under, yarn over with your white yarn, and then pull it through for a chain, like that. Actually, I think we do need to zoom in again. There we go. Okay, and then uh, this next round is gonna be the exact same thing, except we're gonna add a bobble stitch in it. But this time we're gonna do white on the top and black on the bottom. So now we gotta flip under, so black's on top of the white yarn. Go into the next stitch. <coughs> Sneezes. The first stitch uh, that we make is gonna be under these, under that, this first, uh, the black yarn here. Just wanna get under both of those ends. Oopsies. Both of them at the same time. It's kinda of hard to, there we go. And then pull through with our black yarn. See how I went under both simultaneously? 
and then switch back over to one on the bottom. And you want to keep spinning in the same way. So spin under, go to the next stitch, black, spin under, pull through with white. Just like that. And it's going to do this like nice little spin on the inside too, which is, which is satisfying. Okay, so for this round, we want to do nine of these. <laughs> Thank you for blessing me. <laughs> um, you want to do... Oh gosh, I froze again. You're kidding me. Am I back? Okay, I'm back. Um, so this next round is, uh, so we want nine of these, nine single crochets in this, uh, doing this. And then we will change over to our, uh, we'll do a bobble stitch in white. So we'll do nine first. So one, two, three, four, five, Oh, dude, six. Hold on. Let me finish this round and then I'll, I'll do the pro member thing. Seven. Eight. And this is going to be nine. Okay, so I did nine single crochets in our, in our, for with these half color changes. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you want to do a bobble stitch in the next one, all white. For a bobble stitch, we yarn over. Go into the next stitch right here. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. One, two. And then we want to do that same thing into the same stitch four times, four times total. So let's do our second repeat. <laughs> Frankie Lee, hello. Uh, I will get you something out in just a second. Frankie, you are kicking butt. Um, okay, so we want to keep doing that. So we do yarn over into the same stitch we just worked into. Yarn over again and pull through. Yarn over and pull through just two loops. One, two. So there's two. Here is our third. We want four of them total. Here's our fourth. Yarn over into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through just two. One, two. And then to finish it up, all you need to do is yarn over with our white yarn and pull through all the loops in white. Like that. Now we have a little bobble stitch. Now we can continue this, uh, continue doing those half color changes. So then we flip back over so black's on top and we go into the next stitch, which is going to be right here. Yarn over with black, pull through, and then switch back over to white. Pull through two with white. One, two. Again, I am going to be doing a video tutorial for this where I go a little slower. Uh, later this week or maybe next week. So if you're if this isn't good enough for you, don't worry. I'll, I'm gonna do a more in-depth tutorial soon. This is just because this is just for fun, basically. Um, okay, so we keep going. Uh, we're gonna finish this round. I think we have uh, nine, maybe ten. So we have eight more single crochets in this half color changes, so that white is on top of black. One, switch over. You see how my yarn's candy caning, but that's okay. We're going to be done with this yarn in just a second. One. So just a couple more. So yeah, I'll just keep doing that flip under, crochet, flip under, pull through two. Okay, and that's going to be the end of that round. I'm going to pull our white yarn tighter a little bit so it hides it a little bit better. Uh, we can actually cut our black yarn too. We'll crochet around it for our next stitch. And then we're just going to fix this tangle by just pulling the black yarn all the way out. Like that. Okay, before I get to this next round, I'll take a second. Um, it's all going to be white yarn from here on, so you don't need to do any more color changes, which is nice. Uh, but before I do that, quick thank you to Frankie for becoming a Club Crochet Pro member. Frankie! Thank you so much. We're going to put out... Uh, uh, let's see. I, let's put out what you're going to make for your kit. Let's put out a... Um, let's put out this reversible frog. We're going to put out the sleepy version. 
<laughs> with the fly, actually. The flies, the fly with the tongue is pretty funny. So this is gonna be out for you, Frankie. Um, you can name this pro kit if you want. You can, or you can name this, the sleepy one. It doesn't have a name yet. That's quite a power. You have some, you have some serious power now. Let's go ahead and we'll put the master ball over here. Another pokeball. Oopsies. <laughs> that was funny. Watch, I'll do it again. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, okay, uh, let's put the other pokeball right there, right there. Okay. Frankie the legend. Frankie's a legend. Isn't it? <laughs> all right, so we're back to uh, crocheting. The rest of this is all white yarn. You don't really need to do many color changes and it's actually pretty easy from here on. Um, the only tough part is this first, uh, first stitch because you're gonna have to do one more of those perfect stripe methods just to turn into this white yarn. So you need to go into the back loop of that next stitch right here, slip stitch one. So we pull through and pull through. We chain one with our white yarn and then single crochet starting into the same stitch. We wanna just do a single crochet in each stitch around in our white yarn. That's it. Uh, and the first one's a little tricky because we do have to get under both those loops of that first stitch. But then after you got that, you just do single crochets all the way around. I'm gonna work around my black yarn here for my first stitch just to hold it in place. And uh, now we're just gonna single crochet all the way around. For, uh, it should be 18 stitches of white. Um, Peachy XX has asked, how long did I crochet for? I have been crocheting for 15 years maybe? Quite a long time, quite a long time. Um, yeah, I think 15 years. I learned in high school, in uh, like sophomore year of high school is when I started crocheting. So it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. Stepping on yarn, moving it over. Okay, so this round's pretty easy. We're just doing single crochets all the way around in white. And then next round, we don't have to do the perfect stripe anymore. It's actually the end of that round. Uh, in this next round, it's just another round of single crochets in white. So just two rounds in a row of single crochets in white. And we don't have to do the perfect stripe method. So you should need to find that first single crochet you made, which it looks a little weird because it looks like it's that stitch, but it's really this one. Um, just count your stitches if you're a little confused. And then just single crochet all the way around in white again for another round. Pretty easy. Um, do I remember the first thing that I crocheted? I do. Uh, the first thing that I crocheted was an octopus. Uh, it was a big octopus. Kind of looked like this one with like round like arms, a bunch of round arms. Uh, and I remember I only made seven arms. I, I messed up and only did seven. So <laughs> that was, I think the first thing I made though. Only 40 likes left to get the master ball giveaway in this live stream, if we can get to 400. So good luck. 40 likes, that's it, that's not very much. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of this round with our white yarn. Um, and from here on, it's actually like really basic. So the next round, here's our boom. This is our second to last round. For this round, all you need to do is do a single crochet into the first stitch. Here's our first one. Single crochet one in the first and then invisible decrease in the next. If you don't know how to do an in invisible decrease, all you have to do is go up from the bottom and get to just the front loops only of the next two stitches. So there's this front loop and that front loop at the same time. So you do an invisible decrease. That's an invisible decrease. And then you just do a single crochet into that. Pull through, pull through two. That's it. So you just wanna repeat that process six times total. So single crochet, invisible decrease into each stitch all the way around. Or it, it repeated six times all the way around. Single crochet one, invisible decrease one. Front loop, oopsies. Front loop, front loop, single crochet. And this will bring you down to 12 stitches around. So you had 18. After this round, we should only have 12 stitches around. Pretty easy. Uh, this is this this part's not too tough. Just single crochet, invisible decrease all the way around, and then our last round is just invisible decreases. 
and then we stuff it so it closed and add a little bit of embroidery to add some black yarn but it's pretty much done see how quick i mean like i was going real slow there you can make these really fast i think okay front loop front loop single crochet one okay that's it that's all you got to do for that round last round all you have to do for this last round is just do an, and yes, don't forget to stuff the Pokeball. Thank you, Alice. Um, we, we can actually stuff it after this last round here. Um, this last round, all you have to do is do an invisible decrease into each stitch all the way around. That's it. It's uh, not, too, not too tough. Um, we're just going to go front loop, front loop. There should be six invisible decreases total all the way around. So there's one. At this point, it's easiest to pinch it closed two front loop front loop three a few more front loop front loop there's four front loop there's five and then one more front loop front loop that last one's a little tricky but you'll get there and then cut the yarn you don't need a very long end just enough to sew it closed and just pull it all the way through and then we need to stuff it i like using the back of my uh, crochet hook to stuff it you don't need too much stuffing that's this is probably more than enough but yeah that's it bots again i just Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Boom. Okay. Fixed it. I muted them, but they didn't care. All right. So now I'm just stuffing it up and then sewing it closed. You just have a few more minutes left to sign up for the giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the chat again. All you have to do is put your favorite Pokemon as the secret code. That's it. And then I'm just gonna choose uh, randomly uh, how, yeah, I'm just gonna choose randomly. If you can, if we can get 35 more likes, uh, we'll do an extra giveaway at the end uh, for this giveaway. But I don't know if we're gonna make it, we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, Morpheus sounds perfect for the sleeping frog, Frankie. That's a good name. Okay. Let's add just a little bit. I'm gonna add a wee bit more stuffing. Just a wee bit. Ooh, we will choose the name also, Kelly. I'll do that before I do the giveaway so that we can, um, so that we can, uh, have a little bit more time just in case we can get to 400 likes. Okay. And then we just need to sew this closed. And then I'll add a little bit of black yarn on the front here to uh, to make it look more like a Pokeball. But to sew it closed, I'm just using my needle with this end, and I'm going through the front loops of all the last sti uh, the stitches in the last round. Just like that. Just all the front loops only. And then I just pull it nice and tight. And I go right back down, and then out like anywhere. And pull it really... Ooh, I pulled it so tight I broke it. Pull it really tight and then just cut it nice and close. And then we have almost a done Pokeball. The only thing you gotta do left is you need a little bit more black yarn, just like barely any, like that's probably more than enough. Thread that on a needle. And then I come out through somewhere on the stripe right here. I go in through the stripe and I come out on the side of the bobble stitch here, like this. Actually like, try 
I get away from that white end? Right there. Like that. And then I go around the top and out through in through the other side of the Pokeball or of the dot of the bobble stitch. Then out through the same spot on the, that you went in, like that. And then go around the other side, back through the same spot, and then out through where your tail end is to double knot. Just like that, and then you pull it tight-ish. Double knot with the yarn. And cut and hide the end. That's it. One, two. Cut it close. And then I'm just gonna use the back of my needle to just stuff that knot back in there. But there we go. I let's push it into more of a ball shape. But that's it. That's all you gotta do to crochet a pokeball. Look at that. Pretty easy, right? Not too bad. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. So the pattern for this is gonna come out soon. Um, someone asked, uh, Tina asked, do I have a pattern for the open Pokeball? Not yet, but I will uh, soon. That's kind of why I'm trying to take my time a little bit more because I want to do that poke that open one at the same time and like how to do a Master Ball and a Great Ball and an Ultra Ball and whatever. Um, but that is how you make a Pokeball, pretty easy. Um, okay, next thing you want to do is we need to choose names for our Bulbasaur. So, I need four names. I mean, obviously we're gonna go <laughs> D. Goobert. I like that. Eggplant. Sprout. Oh, I mean, there's not really too many names to go with. That's, that's pretty easy. All right, so we're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna make a uh, uh, vote right now. Hold on. What should we name our Bulbasaur? Baba. Sprout. Brussel. I like Brussel because it kind of sounds like Russell. Wait. I spelled Brussel wrong though. Um. D. Goobert. What a weird name. I like it. What does the D stand for? Who knows? And then eggplant. Boom. The vote is there. You choose which name to do. Oh, pickle would have been good though, Kimmy. Oh well. Too little, too late. Alright, choose your name. I am not going to tell you what I'm voting for. Okay, and while you guys are voting for that, let's choose two, it looks like, only, or three. Three winners. Let's see, I'm refreshing the page really quick to see if it's four or not, but I think it's only three. Okay, three winners for our Pokeballs. All right, I'm gonna close the submissions now for entering to win the giveaway. Oh, I didn't include Kent. I'm sorry, Llama. I totally forgot. Can I edit it? Can I edit? No. I can't edit it. I'm so sorry. I forgot Kent. I'm sorry. Llama plays. I apologize. Seriously. Rest in peace, Kent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Giveaway time, guys. Giveaway time. We gotta, we gotta stay focused here. All right. So there are 78 people and three of them are going to win Pokeballs. Three winners out of 78 all we got to do is just uh, choose a random number generator out of 78 right so we'll go how do I do hold on I gotta do individual 
uh, uh, random. Okay, max is 78. All right. Nine, 26. Okay, so the winners are, here are the winners for our giveaway. Winner number one, with their favorite Pokemon being Eevee, is, we're going to put the Pokeballs out for each person too, is Yami. Congratulations, Yami. You win a Pokeball. Yay! Okay, one for Yami. Then we've got... Uh, 26. Who was 26? Ooh, with their favorite Pokemon being Mewtwo, is Shivan Sh Shivanish's Loops. Shivan's Loops. Siobhan's Loops. I think it's Siobhan's Loops. Well, Siobhan's Loops, congratulations. A Pokeball for you as well. What is... All in favor says I? Wait. For... Press, oh, yes. The middle name will be Kent. I think that's fair. Whatever wins is first name, second place is last name, and middle name is Kent. Period. Okay, last winner for the giveaway. Last winner. So we have Siobhan's Loops, Yami, and... Ooh, what a great favorite Pokemon. So with their favorite Pokemon being Ninetales, the last winner uh, is... Amber! Amber! Congratulations, Amber. You also win a Pokeball. So all three of you guys win Pokeballs. Congrats! <laughs> Drum mode, please. Yes, so we got um, Amber, Siobhan's Loops, and uh, Yami. Congratulations. I'll send all three of you guys an email to get your addresses to send this out to you. And I'll probably add some like stickers and stuff to say thank you also. Um, but congratulations. Thank you so much for entering the giveaway. And let's find out who, what the name of our Bulbasaur is also. Congratulations, everyone! Okay, and then for our name ending the poll the winner was ooh, the winner with almost 50% of the votes was Brussel so his name is Brussel middle name Kent of course um, Amber yes congratulations Amber thank you for uh, still being in the chat too um, uh, his name is Brussel Kent Sprout <laughs> I love that the middle name is Kent Brussel Kent Sprout. We can't forget. Never forget good old Brussels, Brussel Kent Sprout. Thank you guys so much for joining with this live stream crochet along. Um, Brussel says thank you too, obviously. Boba. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining. We'll be next, uh, next Sunday, no live stream. But the Sunday after that, we'll be doing our live crochet along for our reversible frog. So if you want to get a crochet kit with all the materials you need to make your own reversible frog, sign up right now. You can find links to that by just going to clubcrochet.com. Sign up for a pro membership. You have literally until 1 a.m. to sign up for a pro kit for a crocheted frog, and these kits are going to come. And that's our next live stream. That's going to be March 13th, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Obviously, I will do like a sign-up thing or something like that, or, or like a, I'll notify you. I'll, I'll keep you updated. Um, but gosh, look at how good that Bulbasaur is. It's so tiny and cute. I love him. I love him. Brussel. Brussel can't sprout. They're so cute. Um, Brussel can't sprout? Oh my god, Brussels can't sprout. That's funny. 
Um, <laughs> Zoe, you're funny. Uh, all right. Thank you for joining. No, you hang up first. Oh my gosh, stop it. You hang up. Oh my gosh, Tina, you are so bad. You hang up first. Stop. Oh my gosh, you're so Brad. Bye. No. Pull out all the full Aussie. What's an Aussie joke, Zoe? You get one Aussie joke. <laughs> no, Cheryl. No, you hang up first. Oh my gosh, you hang up first. Oh my god, you're so Bradley. You hang up this second, Kelly. I am bought. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Goodbye.